What it could be, hopefully it's what it should be. This is your boy N A N A N A N. What up, it's DJ EFN. And this motherfucking drink chest yappy on Max. And right now, when we talk about legends, when we talk about Queens, Atlanta, because that's a whole that's a whole different thing. Like a whole bunch of Queens people that live in Atlanta, a bunch of Atlanta people that live in Queens. But when you talk about his family, just his family, this nigga mama's a legend. Mm. This nigga's uncle's a legend. This nigga's uncle's uncle's a legend. Cousins, I tell you, he literally couldn't be a sucker. <laughs> literally, like his whole family is is real. Like that, that's serious. Ah, uh, he's a hustler's hustler. He came into this rap game and he was gonna be a businessman about it. And he's still here, still out here, running it. He got his family on TV. He he got his own shows, reality. In case you don't know what we're talking about, motherfucking walk a fly to them all. Yeah. So Flaka, I wanna I wanna try to take it from the beginning with you, right? Because yeah. uh you were actually born in Queens. Yeah, right? Jamaica Queens, yeah. Jamaica Queens, right? So how did you how did you migrate and, and uh, let me get a light somebody down? Um how did you migrate to Atlanta? Oh, uh, move with the moms. You know, mm -hmm. your moms leave, you mm -hmm. leave. Right, right. Niggas ain't paying no bills, right, 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 in fifth right. grade. Right, right. He was a kid though, right? He was mad. Yeah, right? I was fifth grade. Oh. You gonna have some champagne. I was listening to a, um, a, um, a you um, over here, and I forget it was a song. It's like drinking champagne yeah. somewhere. So I'm gonna offer you champagne. I don't know if you're gonna uh, drink some. You know what I mean? Let's, let's make some noise. Watch block and yeah. yeah. so, 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 Atlanta. Now, what was the age? I moved to Clayton County. Oh, Clayton County. Well, I moved to Atlanta first. Okay, I heard you saying Riverdale too. Yeah, that Clayton oh. County. Okay, that's Riverdale County. is basically it, it's the city within right. Clayton County. Right. Uh, I moved to Southwest in the Swats. Oh, okay. So like the Low Drive, Camden Road. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, by some apartments called Allison Court. I moved in Brickwood. They call it Park at Lakewood when I was in there. Mm -hmm. Shit was real. And then and and how, when did you and Gucci man hook up? Was it then? Now I got with Gucci and I was like. 19. Yeah, I read mm. some of these. You're like 20. Wow. I'm probably 20, 20, 19. Wow. And I love that y'all reconcile, right? Y'all yeah. good now, right? Yeah, now we, we ain't never been off. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. It's just like when, when people in the, in, the, in the media get, you know, you see yeah. two people uh, right. together. It's similar to like your situation. Right, of course. Like, but it's just like, you know, when the media get it, right. niggas feed into it. Right. Mm -hmm. He said, did some foul shit. I returned some more right. shit. Right. And you know how it goes. Champagne go. gone, man. Go. Well, y'all good now? Now, I'm glad to see oh, that, Oh, the energy good. Just like you, I'm glad to see that. <laughs> I'm glad to see that. Now, now let's, I'm going to bounce around the place a little bit. Let's just, let's talk about Atlantic Records. Yeah. Is that, is, is, you, 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 you cool with them still? You said Atlantic or? Records, not to be confused with talking about Atlanta right now. Oh, Atlantic no, no, Records. Atlantic, right? Yeah. You, nah, I don't, I don't fuck with it. You don't fuck with them? No, no, no. When because there's different regimes. Now, you know, I can't even, it, it, Atlantic oh. as a whole, but it started with like a guy named Tom, Todd. Todd Moskowitz? Todd Moskowitz. I know Todd Moskowitz. Joey Aiz Joe, and these Joey fucking Aiz. guys. Joey Aiz now. But it was Warner Brother. Warner. But they had Asylum Records, like right. Trigger Code yeah. in it. Right. That, which, which, that was your independent, right? That yeah. Was like, uh, that, I that came was to subsidiary Warner. Of subsidiary of Atlanta. Subsidiary, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a bright word for it. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and in a real nigga terms, it's a cover up. Wow. wow. And they don't fuck something up, but they got you. Wow, you know what? I didn't, I didn't, I actually, this is my first experience to actually, hey, salute, man. I don't know if you know, Flocka. This, this, this our show is about giving people their flowers while they're alive. I don't want to tell you how great you are when you gone. I want to tell you that to your face. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're a guy I respect. You're a real street nigga, and I respect you, man. Salute. Yeah. Salute. So describe it to people that's in this, that's trying to get into this music industry. Because all they see is, you know, Waka, you know, with, with the jewelry and the fly shit. But you, the, the, you um, explain to them what you said, a cover-up, yeah. like a sub I came, I came in the game and I left the same way I came in. I came wow. in as like a, like a manager, mm. like an exec. Mm -hmm. I just started with Gooch. Like mm -hmm. I was on a roll with Gooch. Mm -hmm. Like I played uh, security, shooter, role manager, right, assistant, right, best right. friend, little brother, right. assistant and manager right. for my mom doing whatever the fuck she said. It was everything, yeah. you know what I mean? I did whatever it took to win because right. I know if he was out the hood, right. I'm out the hood. Right. So, so I even held bags. I ain't give right. a fuck. I'm like, nigga, you gotta look like a straight star. So just describe this, right? Because your moms at one point had you, Gucci Man, Nicki Minaj, and French Montana. That's crazy. Yeah. Yo, yo, like, like at what? At all together, your mom. Yeah, hey, but all the all the puzzle, all you know, all the pieces came though. Right. As we can, as we started though. Now, and you wore Waka Flock at this time? Or yeah. You, 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 just, you just, oh wow. Uh, well, yeah, when Nikki Hell, yeah, when Nikki okay. and French came in, yep, definitely. Oh, okay, damn. Definitely. How, how is that? Cause like, 
That's kind of like you saw their whole career. Yeah. Wow. From the start. From the, from the start. French, French came around. <clears throat> I knew French from like the cocaine uh, oh, city DVDs. DVDs. Yeah. You know, we from New York, so niggas mm-hmm. down south wasn't mm-hmm. on the DVD mm-hmm. wave. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta bring that shit to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. But then French called for a feature. You know how French back then, right. that nigga had songs with everybody. And he called for you for a feature? Now he called Gooch. Oh, like okay. I wasn't like, like uh, Loopy is Gooch in the right. streets then. Right. My probably just oh let's do it just came out so it was hot, right. but it wasn't like what it was. Uh, French came and did a feature with Goose. I think he was paying Goose like eight ten thousand for a feature. Uh, Goose did four bars and bounced out with a girl. <laughs> Left him in there. Left French in there. Yeah, French okay. mad niggas and it's just me and a gun. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like yo nigga, I call Goose like yo where you at? French like yo where, uh, Gucci. At? I'm like he in a booth. He's like nah he left. I'm like he left. Right. I'm in my head like, nigga, you left me? How the fuck you leave me with niggas like, you know what I'm saying? But, then I, but that's how I built. It came from that relationship to me, like buttering up basically. Like, yo, I, we'll get it done, nigga. Uh-huh. Man, patchwork. And that shit just came to, yo, come down here, nigga. I'll help you with your shit. All right. Nigga, jump on my shit. I'll do a CD with Ooh, you. Gucci telling you that. No, I, I did it with French. Oh, wow. So I basically put French under my shit, basically. Oh. I introduced it to my mother. Wow. Like, nigga, get management. Like, basically, like, wow. we solidified him through our trap. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And French. Did yeah, French? You know how French right. do French? You give him some shit, right. grab it, take it, go yeah. up. Like you yeah. know what I mean? He came from that right. to Diddy came around. That's what Nicki was around. Right. You know, Diddy basically came down. Like, I want the label. Right. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Some niggas was like, no, no. You know how that story. Uh, so that that's crazy. That's crazy right there. So uh, is do your mother still maintain these relationships with these people? Or uh, with French? Nah. Change? Business wise, yeah. yeah, French my nigga, no, but okay. business, ah, yeah. You know those all management I, situations? Yeah. yeah. But it, that's their business. You know right. what I'm saying? But that got to be funny for you because... At the nah, end nah, of the day, that's I, I, I got to take a deep breath. You got to, yeah, because that's it's still yeah, business. I'd have yeah. been trying to break his legs <laughs> and everything. Like, yeah, 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 he still, foul. Yeah, it's still If business. we talking for real nigga shit, he foul. Who, French? Yeah, he foul. But he foul on some business shit. And for me doing business, I should mind my business. Okay. You know what I mean? So but as a friend, that's my nigga. Like, I don't give a fuck. Ain't no hard feelings. He young, he grow, he learn from it. And we go, we go from there. And that's what that is. So that, that's French. Uh, Nikki. Uh, what really probably happened with Nikki? I let my mother tell that. Yeah. But Nikki just no. But from your your perspective. From my think? perspective. Yeah. yeah. Shit, Nikki did what's best for Nikki. I'm just being real. If it, if you wasn't all about her, she came to my mother one day. And was like, yo, all you need is me and Walker. Get rid of Goose. Get rid of everybody. Because Nikki was with Gucci too. Nah, oh. she just went on my mom. So you know that shit. Okay. That's default. Gucci right. signed as an artist. She was, I was, French. Right. Like it's we just regular shit. But she's basically like, yo, nigga, like you don't need nobody. Mm. Just right. give me a walk. Real talk. And my mom was like, hell no. You know, my mother was gun hole for Gucci. I was like, right. I'm main artist. Right. Like that's her artist. You know what I mean? So she's like, I basically you know. Was that was that the first time your mom's got came into the rap game? Was when she was managing Gucci, or she had? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's like on the mainstream level. Hell yeah. She started with like. She just been doing mad shit. She Deborah shit. Right. I, I can't. Uh, I, I wasn't in her biz. I was in the streets. So I, I ain't learned shit about music until I started hanging with Gooch. Right. And then I started getting around Nikki being like security and this. And on Safari, them niggas, they was like Batman and Robin. Well, I'm Nikki and Safari. Oh, yeah. And then my mother came in and basically just put the marketing tool around her. She started getting so hot. Because it's a, it was a rumor that Nikki couldn't get signed in New York. Nah, she couldn't. Ain't nobody, it ain't nobody, nobody, nobody was fucking with her at all. Wow. I nope, didn't know nobody. that. I just heard the rumor, though. But I'm not, and I heard they, the same they shit. said that's the reason why she went I never asked her that. She never confirmed it, but right. it was obvious. You know what I mean? She came down She came down south and now my mother get one. It's a right. female. She going full throttle. Right. She got Nikki shit. Uh, baby, my mother and them put together that uh, Wonder Woman CD and she took off. I, I never forget. Nikki did that slumber party verse. I was like, oh, nah, she a star. Right. She going. And that's when niggas in cash money start calling. Right. Yeah. She so going back. Wayne, ah, you ever, you ever like regretted those moments? Like, yo, fuck man. no. Yeah, fuck no. Like, like you, as a CEO, you ever thought that you should have signed these artists? Fuck no, because no? I could have. I never signed nobody. <laughs> God damn it! No. God damn it! I was not. Like, <laughs> Nigga, I ain't know. I ain't know. <laughs> <laughs> yo, now nah, because you know what? I, I, I'm not to turn it about me, but every now and then I sit back, and Pharrell came to me one day, and Pharrell said, "Yo, I'm trying to get my beats to Jay Z, and I'm trying to get my beats to Nas." You right? thought you would have managed him? I never even thought of that shit, bro. Like, now when I think about it, I'm like, yo, because he was basically saying, yo, can you... Like, I had the, the, right. like, I had the connects to Jay-Z yeah. and to Nas, and instead I brought him to Tommy Boy. 
I brought him to Tommy Boy, and I think they gave him a, a deal. But I, that shit never even crossed my mind, Flocka. Just think about that shit. Like, like the shit I know now, yeah. it's like, nigga. Uh, I should have, though. Nah, it's like, I, the shit I know no, now, no. I'm Dealing more confident. Dealing with artists Nah, that shit like having kids. Right. Yes, you know what I mean? <laughs> that shit's really like having, because yeah. you, you got to dissect their life. Like, yeah. your life got to be their life. Yeah. Uh, Else you ain't gonna get top results. Uh, so for me, like, I just wanted to help motherfuckers. Right. Cause for me, my success is built on people I help. Right. So if I help a million people, it's a better chance that I'm gonna be a millionaire. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I, good I, at it. I, a nigga just put me in position. Like, yo, what's up, big homie? Big homie, nigga, you was OG. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you think I know all, what the right. fuck going on? Right. I don't know right. what's going on. Right. Nigga, me and Gooch sleeping in my mother's house. Right. They think we in the mansion in Beverly right. Hills. Right. That shit just was different though. Nah, you, you, uh, um, is, is Gucci Man a different person from um, when you first met him? To now? Yeah. I mean, we all different people, but you know. Because, you know, he, he's really like, uh, it looks like he don't drink no more, so. I don't know. I don't know nothing about him. Oh, yeah. yeah we can try to get you drunk, Flock. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I don't know you know. You can try to get you drunk. Hey, ain't going to take liquor to keep it real. <laughs> okay, we're going to take some shots, too. You know what I mean? We're going to get it going. So, is it, is it, ah, Atlanta feels like, I don't and, know nothing about Atlanta. No. Like, I'm talking about Atlanta, where Gooch, where Gooch from, and Atlanta is two different spots. Word? He from the East Atlanta. It's like saying Brooklyn is Queens. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. Atlanta is like the like Manhattan. Okay. And we talking, that's the okay. city, that's Harlem. Mm -hmm. You know, Atlanta is Harlem, basically. Mm -hmm. Buckhead right. is Manhattan. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Gooch from some, like, fucking the Bronx. Okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? It's different. I'm from Queens. Okay. Okay. So when I met Gooch, it's like, Oh, okay, I'm in the Bronx. And right. the Bronx kind of right. connected to Manhattan and Harlem, but all right, now I mean Harlem niggas right. now. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it was. Okay, but Atlanta as a whole. That, it's, it's, it's love. Does it feel like Wakanda? Like, nah, Atlanta niggas helping each other, period. It don't matter. It always it has. has. It yeah, yeah. Like always yeah. Has. Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta, Atlanta niggas street, street rap, the industry, like, you know, you know, damn, I can't say that because no, everybody, you can, everybody you can been in jail. It, it's like you going to jail in the county and niggas like, yo, this is this, a this, Queen's house. Yeah. Like, niggas like, oh, this Atlanta, Atlanta niggas in? I'm in FVIP. Mm. Like it's it's instant. Mm -hmm. Y'all really do fuck with yeah. each other. Like when y'all hear records, South, like, niggas I was, from the south. In I was general. listening to your playlist. I, I heard. I'm just listening. to you. Y'all really do work with each other. I fuck with everybody. Right. I fuck with all the Atlanta motherfuckers. I ain't from Atlanta. Right. Niggas want me to pick sides. I'm like, nah, you ain't got. So, but what part? So it's right next to Atlanta. You said Clayton County is like uh, south of the airport. Oh, okay. Anything from the airport south? That's Clayco. Oh. It's, it's a big okay. difference. Okay. Big, big difference. I, I still don't get the difference. Like, I'm sorry, this is to me because I, I just Atlanta is it's all the same shit to me. But I mean, it's not I, considered I'm Atlanta up. right at all. Hell no, it's Clayton County. So, yeah, it's a whole different part of the, Clayco. of the so, state. So when Gucci say he's from Atlanta, he's not. He, he doesn't mean East Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, East Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I thought I was bugging out, man. Gucci was uh, born in Alabama. Alabama. Hey, wow. Yeah, he got, he got. I fought with his whole family to this day. Wow. That's my niggas. His little brother. It's like my little brother. His son is like a nephew. Right. Well, Gooch is Gooch. I like, eat Gooch. Right. Like, I, I can't explain it. Like, I nah, didn't... Nah, I understand. Not everybody fuck with a nigga mm -hmm. for, like, being a rapper. Like, he was like mm -hmm. a brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What yeah, he I did understand. is what he did. Yeah. Nigga, you, you know what the fuck he did. Like, did, did you ever have a relationship with Jeezy? With Jeezy? Nah. Never. never. I'm not... You shit, Jeezy's hang on my uncles and cousins. My blood family. Wow. wow. But Weird is, as fuck. is it because of your affiliation with Gucci? Nah. It's just... Yeah, I respected that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I caught the flack by default because them niggas was on me. What do you mean? Shit, niggas was... Wait, you know how I go? You hung with Jeezy one time, you said? Fuck no. Oh, I ain't, so I'm a young nigga, no? <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't, these, these older niggas, these right. niggas that already right. played with money right. and did all right. that right. shit. Right. Like, to me, Gucci and Jeezy, damn, they was like friends. Word? These niggas have been in the same I, I studio remember, together. I, I, I don't remember no shit. icy thing, and then I remember there were certain allegations. That I'm happened. like you then. I'm watching yeah. TV. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 yeah, yeah. Word. <laughs> but <laughs> shit, it wasn't like they yeah. they ain't that smoke was it was rap beef. Okay. That's exactly what it was. Okay. It was just rap beef. Okay. That's it. That's what's up, man. We go. Let's get some shots going. Got that. Yeah, I got some shots going. I got a little thing. Yeah. Uh, what we drink? Oh fuck, we don't got nothing cold. Oh, but by the way, let's pick up Boosie real quick, right? Yeah. Wait, which one is Boosie shit? Joints right there. The two ones. This shit. Yeah. All right. Boosie sent us this. It looks nice. Yeah, I drank that. It looked nice. I got a couple of bottles of it. Okay, and you will be also, hold on. Mm -hmm. While the Flocka brum, well, now we gotta break this down for us, Flocka. This, this is very Those sexy. Those bottles look yes. This is very sexy. What, what is going on over it's here? It's cognac right here. What, what is this, cognac? It's premise. It's yeah. a legend. It's a legend edition. Okay. Holy moly. 
right, we're gonna get this. That's cognac with no kick. Okay. And this the pink, this the pink one. That's the pink That's oh, pink that's cognac. The pink that's when you wake up tomorrow, like what happened? He, you know, like women drink more cognac than men. Get out of here. And nobody in cognac catered to them. But the, uh, is that like the hood rats? Yeah. <laughs> the hood rats and soccer moms. Yeah, yeah. That's every, every girl I know that drink a Hennessy fight. That's a fact. That's, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. She started out cool in the night. What the fuck? Like, what y'all like, what? Like, what? told you to stop drinking that Hennessy? Well, Hennessy is a fighting drug. It's a fact. Come on. Uh, I'll do, I'll, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do a shot of that. Let's do it. Uh, let's, I'm going to go pink. He got on pink. I'm going on pink. Yeah. Let's go Let's, let's go with pink, bro. You're going to be like that soccer mom fight. Hey man, I'm trying to hit cheeseburger baby after this. No. <laughs> Flocka, I want to know, because when I read that you was a vegan, right? Yo, I don't know funny. if you remember this. Oh, no, I remember. I have a classic story with me. Yeah, right? yeah. This is classic, by the way. I'm in Canada, right? My whole crew leaves. I was a vegan at the time, mm. but I wanted to try a different type of vegan food. It was called raw. Raw vegan. Raw oh. vegan. It's horrible, by the way. Have you ever had that? Uh, well, you just, uh, you know, oh, it's, it's, hard. it's horrible. So, my issue, my issue. I, I got a show, uh, but Flock is coming in. double, right? Yeah. Yeah, Flock is coming in all kinds of shit. the next day, right? Flock's coming in the next day. So, I want to see Flock, but I didn't want to tell him I'm a vegan. Like, at the time, I didn't want to tell you. So. That shit was mad random, too. <laughs> so, it was random as hell. Yeah, so, so, I can meet Baka at the bar. And I'm doing whatever I gotta do to like not say that, you know, I wanna go to this vegan roster. So Flocka looking at me like, you know, you're a real nigga. So he's like, nigga, I'm not letting you go to no restaurant by yourself in Canada. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm rolling with you. So I was like, all right, cool. But I didn't wanna tell him, like, yo, this is a vegan. This is, this is beyond vegan. This is yeah. raw. No, that's like, so they don't like even the whole veganism. But like, we're, talking, we're, we're talking about 2017. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It's like so, eight, like sixteen before it was cool. Yeah, before it was cool. Like cool. that shit wasn't even no yeah. headlines. So look, Walker comes with me. Listen, this is how you know how the niggas. He said it's in Canada. What's in Canada? Canada? I forget. I forget. It's, it's all with a Vancouver, Vancouver. 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 That's not when you yeah. were on the tour. You left. You left. Oh. Yes, yes, you left. So look, uh, we go and Flock is just a real nigga. So he 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 ate it. But you could tell he didn't like it. That I didn't like it. Horrible. It was horrible. I didn't like it. Yo, Raw is but, hardcore. But then we would walk shit. up, went across the street, and he ordered two pies a piece of him and his homeboy. And y'all remember break. that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ate the two pies. But then it was crazy because the memory just was there. And then it was like two, three months later, I said, Walk is vegan. I said, I had to do a little bit with that. That's just a tiny bit. Oh, wait, you wasn't it, vegan at that point? Hell no. Nah, I, I was eating. I, these niggas made me vegan. Right. How did you become vegan? I don't know. The guy woke up and it was headlines everywhere. Who the fuck is vegan? Let's take a shot. Solid. Who's solid? Oh shit. He said he woke up vegan. Hey. 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 So, ooh, that, that is good. good. It's good. And it doesn't. But taste. I can see how that'll get you in trouble. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this, this. yeah. And it ain't even cold. Yo. Yeah. I passed yeah. the test. Now nah, this, this is dangerous. dangerous. This is yeah, dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know why? You, 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 you immediately said, "Let me get another one." The aftertaste. Yeah. No, it's a fight. Yeah, I can yeah, tell. So it's yeah, gonna yeah, be a fight yeah, after a yeah, while. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. That's just fire. So, so you, you literally woke up one day and headlines. Yeah, I swear. You did a pita spread. Oh, the pita shit. Yeah, that's right. I'm in a room, ass naked, full of women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> LA. Oh, yeah. I think you was not because you're vegan. I'm a hood nigga. I'm a hood nigga in LA around a bunch of pre. Like Peter and Presties, <laughs> yeah. women uh -huh. with my dick out. <laughs> You're like Peter's cool. Like, not cool. to be that blunt and raw with it, but <laughs> so they, that, that was the best part about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm comfortable, right. and I was a fat body right. nigga, so I ain't right. care. Right. Like that shit so, was cool though. I just don't fuck with mink jackets. So mm -hmm. my idea for it was like, nigga, if I say I don't fuck with something, I'm gonna show you how far I go. Right. Before you can say anything, I don't give a fuck what you say because it's how I feel. Uh -huh. It's a lot of niggas that don't feel how I feel, so, and, but it's a lot of other niggas that understand how I feel. You ain't even got to feel exactly how I feel, but you understand it. Yep. So why pay attention to niggas that don't fuck with it? Uh -huh. You think I ain't hear niggas like, yo, this nigga, ah, I get around you, let's do a song. I might even go check you about it because this rap. This ain't no streets. I learned that shit real yeah, early. Like, very true. I'm talking about bro, bro, real early. It's like trying to be a football player, but you playing basketball. Yeah. Right. It's it's stupid as fuck. That's 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 being a street nigga and a rapper. It's like right. football and basketball. It's the same sport, but it's uh, different. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas try to mix it and be and be 
That shit just is nah. terrible. And look at the result today. Like niggas getting flipped left and right. Mm -hmm. Cause that street shit dead, bro. When, yeah. when you when you make it as a rap, nigga, right. that shit like Christmas every day. Right. Bro, you don't wake up like nigga. I'm telling y'all, nigga, I don't I don't got the money. It done slowed down. The fact that you could literally this weekend come home with at least twenty five to sixty to a hundred yeah. to two hundred thousand cash mm -hmm. on the back end door. We talking about before this shit had. Oh, this accounting shit going on. Right. That's why this shit was shit. Right. A nigga pull up on you, I got 50,000, go perform. These niggas ain't want no return, nothing. It was just, hey, I bought these niggas to the city. Right. What, but bring me to the city for a 50. Come on, I'm right. in there. And that's how it was. Right. Um, so, did you, was you ever tried to be vegan? Who, me? Yeah. Oh. Nah, you know what? I ate what I call conscious eating. Mm. Because I was going through so much shit, my little brother, so my little brother committed suicide. That's what got me to eat different. You know what I mean? That shit fucked me all the oh, way up. Like, yeah, yo, that is crazy. So I was like, damn, I gotta change. The fact that I'm that busy, that I ain't check on my little brother. He live up the street from me, four houses up. I'm that busy, nigga. I couldn't eat, and I missed the phone call when he killed himself. So it made me like, damn, I gotta change. I'm gonna change everything. I, 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 monk, I did monk talk. Well, I ain't talked for a whole month before. Was Meditating. Cool? So yeah, I, I, I named it Monk Talk. You know, ghetto niggas. Uh, yeah. We started naming oh, that's shit. That's crazy that you did that. I just tried to change, bro. I tried to change my eating. I did everything. Next, you know, I started seeing colors different. I started smelling different. My vibe around people was different. Yeah. I couldn't fuck with shit. If I be in my own hood, I'm uncomfortable. It's like someone would tell me, hey, you need to get up out of here. I swear, and that eating conscious, conscious eater mean you know what the hell you putting in your mouth, pause. You know what I'm saying? You know exactly what where that weed was grown at. Now they got hormones in weed. If you're conscious smoking, you will know yeah. that. You, you know can what I'm taste saying? poison when you eat it. So I'm they, not at that point. Yeah. They blinded. Anything. They blinded my crowd. Yeah. You I'm know. Conscious. You know. You know what fucks me up? Every time I eat chicken, I was in Puerto Rico one time, and a chicken just came at me, and I threw a piece of chicken to the chicken, and the chicken ate it. I was disgusted. I was like, "Holy oh, shit! How the fuck am I eating chicken after this? Like, I literally was eating a chicken finger. They're cannibals. A like, chicken like, attacked that. me. Like, just came out of nowhere. Like, you, 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 nigga, you a city boy. Like, and I was like, oh shit. Shit. And I had nothing else to do but throw a piece of chicken at him, and he stood there and ate the chicken. I was like, "You eating you?" <laughs> like it, this shit freaked me out. So every time I eat chicken, I think about that. I don't know why. Uh, but so you, you so you, are you vegan now? Nah, man. No. I just consciously, you know, consciously. I love my lamb chops. And shit. Okay, lamb chops. Holy yeah, boy. I just ate trick daddy uh, shit. Though. Oh shit, I never ate oh, turkey. Sundays. Oh, that motherfucker yeah. going crazy. Yeah, I never ate there. That shit going crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, hey, yo. What did you get? A uh, little motherfucking uh. Baked turkey wing. You know I mean? The little brown with the brown peas. Everybody rice. can't make good yeah, turkey man, wings. they doing it. They doing it? They cooking okay. that shit like it's your auntie I, food. I, I, I I'm, great I'm thing pulling about up. Yeah. I'm pulling up. That shit going yeah. crazy. Uh, I'm pulling up. You're getting 12 pounds right there oh, on, on, the, on, the, on the spot. Because everything is fried. Yeah, I'm drinking the stomach shit tonight. So <laughs> oh, I'm going wake up okay. going in. Okay, let's, let's do another shot, God damn it. Let's do another shot. <laughs> Do another motherfucking shot, goddamn. And Mr. Lee, you sweat like a Russian, brother. What's going on, brother? You sweat like a Russian and a racehorse. I'm oh, in. The pink is it. The, the pink, pink will is get it. you. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, we're going to send some bottles through, man. Oh, yeah, please, man. So, I, told, just, I told OG, he's like, yeah, you going to Nori shit. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I gotta go. So uh, describe, describe um, the, uh, uh, the, 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 this is your family's, Yeah, right? it's a family, Kanye. We oh. own 100% is the only African Americans wow. in the world that own 100% of our Kanye. Like, wow. we own the chemistry behind it. Wow. Uh, this ain't what, line. no disrespect to everybody, this ain't no white label shit. Like, okay. Ain't no nigga just come give me his vodka and I got to slap Waka on it. Right, right. right. Oh. Like, it's just, oh. it, it's not even like about my shit. It's about my whole family eating yeah. off it. Mm -hmm. The nieces, the nephews, the, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, I, I, just, I just don't want to be a sandwich. Yeah, your whole you know, family is hustlers. You man. get what a sandwich is, though, right? No, what does this put me on? A Sorry. sandwich is when niggas like us got to take care of the old and the young generation in our family. That's hey, a sandwich. That's a sandwich. Salo. Now, remember, this is deadly. It's a mama. See, this is the reason why this is dangerous. I should dangerous. go through my notes. Tell you why this is dangerous. It's dangerous, bro. The second shot tasted like hard starbursts. Mm. Like, it's like you like Starburst, right? But this is not Starburst, man. You <laughs> Starburst can't. on a handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't. Now that premise, that premise, that shit different. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. My uncle came with it. Like my uncle, I'm talking about, he literally been to Germany. Wow. Uh, uh, Cac is something. Like he flew around the world. Wow. It took my uncle probably 10 years. 
flying around the world. Like people's like, yo, it's impossible to do this shape bottle. Like we can't do it. It's impossible. Yeah, that's, that's like it all, all came like the tenth year. Wow. He like, yo, man, I'm about to. He uh, he said, this is the story he telling me because obviously he didn't tell me he did it. He was just telling me as he was doing it, but he didn't tell me the ins and outs. Then he told me like, yo, Walker, the whole time I went to China, and the, and in China they they sculpted the bottle, right. oh, shit. and it was done. Like that shit, it came back, that shit was magic. Wow. And now it's to the point, uncle, like, all right, walking, like, That's I'm passing you the torch type shit. That's all. I'm like, That's all right, all. it's beautiful though. So I don't, I don't want it to like, right. I told uncle, we just taking our time with it. Right. But it's to the point now, people are like, yo. Where, where do you guys distill it? Like, where is it at? Where y'all This is it? still, yeah. uh, this is still secret location. No, it's from <laughs> Cognac, man. It's Cognac, right? right. It's yeah. from Cognac. Yeah, from Cognac. Right. This ain't the oh. fake. Like, you know, some motherfuckers put Cognac. You can't, you can't. Uh. Technically, you can't put Cognac on anything that's not from Cognac, France. Yeah. You can't. Oh, see, it's a law. It's that. an actual law. I know Colombian white. Like Columbia. champagne? <laughs> champagne? You can't, you can't call anything champagne that's not from champagne. France. So champagne's a place. And that's, the reason why, a place. that's the reason why. That's the reason why it's called yeah, spark, sparkling wine. Other shit is it's not from. That's there. conscious. They call it sparkling wine. A conscious person. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's a conscious gangster. All right, all right. All right. Know what I'm saying? Like that. That's why I call people from the streets like conscious gangsters. I like, like that. Some motherfuckers that that ain't conscious out there. Oh, that nigga be talking all the time. Like right. he's doing. Nah, that nigga's conscious. Young nigga, right. he be been here. Listen right. to him. Right. You know what I'm saying? You might not understand a hundred right. words, but right. I bet you twenty of those words, right. Right. you will be like this. Oh shit, I learned something new. Like. That's it. Like Nori, you, hella you, conscious. You, 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 you think it's, 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 it's funny when the, uh, the youngest come call you OG? I'm sure they do. That shit a blessing. Cause I didn't even think I was gonna be alive. Wow. That's, I, I ain't even like gonna it. flex. Like I, that's sometimes I don't even like talking because it sounds like I need to be boasting. Right. Man, my life is so real. I'm just happy. Now you gotta, you gotta, stay, you gotta stick around with it. So yeah. When you when you when you when you're, bra you're not bragging. Yo, Nori, I swear to you, I be seeing other niggas. I'm like, yo, I don't understand how y'all niggas still beefing and sliding and smoking, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you rich. Like right. nigga, I don't understand. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not even lying, nigga. Like, boy, I got slid on. I done slid it, glided, right. all that shit. Like walking right. to the store, pat, 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 pat. You running through cuts and right. old folks' homes, right. apartment cuts. Right. That shit real. Right. So what the fuck make you think I'm gonna be in a another city busting bottles, thinking about drilling? Right. I don't give a fuck about no drilling, nigga. Right. I don't care what you say about my security guards. You fuck. I don't care if you say I'm dapping up a, a police officer. Motherfucker, he gotta protect my venue. That's insurance, and my party gotta go on so I can get this Rex. Mm. Right. But in your code, that shit ain't gangster. Now, what's right. gangster is, nigga, you ain't gotta do that, and you still and you still doing it. That's lame as fuck. What's gangster is, I know I can do it, and I'm not doing it. I'm showing you how not to do it, but you got a choice to do it or not. See, mm. niggas ain't giving niggas choices. See, I'm talking from nigga that actually did it and done it. I'm not talking from nigga glorifying, and this, I actually been through the ropes. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've mm -hmm. been through that shit. <laughs> So, so was it was it was it your dream to always rap, or this was something that just came? Nah, this shit a hustle. Yeah, it's a hustle. Nah, fuck that. Yeah. yeah. Hell no, nah, I can't even wake up and go to the studio and rap. Yeah. I ain't been in the studio in so in so damn long. Wow. I don't even I don't know what the fuck to rap about. Right. Yeah. I don't rap all my like. <laughs> my, my, <laughs> my, my, <laughs> nigga, I, my shit ain't gangster. Right. I'm just being real. I ain't right. shooting at nobody. They, but the glizzies is around me all day, all day, all day. One thing for sure, two things for certain. When I was listening to your music today on the way here. It's almost like you made most of your music take, to perform. Yeah. Like, it's like, I can, I almost like envision me being you on the ride here. And all I could see was just like, you just, just. just oh, no, that's how, nigga, yeah. life, nigga, if you in the streets, life is a roller coaster. Right. And you don't realize you're in a roller coaster till you get out that motherfucker right. and watch everybody else stand in line and get on a roller coaster. Right. Right. You think it's regular. Right. Like, some shit feel normal, nigga. Like, right. I can't believe. That, yo, know, right now, it's me thinking about it. I couldn't even believe that I could fall asleep, nigga, and I know a nigga kicking my shit and we shooting it up. Right. Like, what the fuck? And I was hella comfortable. That let me know I elevated. Mm. It's not letting me know I changed. It's not letting me know I'm fake. Mm -hmm. It's letting me know I'm elevated. But, mm -hmm. yo, now it takes the real nigga in me to turn back around and look at the road I built. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How can I put stop signs? How can I put signal lights? How can I put and direct people on my road? Mm -hmm. That's what make you a legend. That's what make you gangster. Mm -hmm. In my in my book, that's just my book. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I ain't trying to. I don't right. know. I, ain't, I don't want no artists beefing. Right. Like I signed. Like I finally got artists that I like. Like these right. niggas will tell you, bro. They been fucking with me for like two I years. Signed to, to oh yeah, Brick Squad. Uh -uh. Like Gooch was ten seventeen. I was Brick Squad. That mm -hmm. was ten seventeen. Brick Squad. Wow. But he ten seventeen. He got his shit looping. Right. I just took my time. Right. 
I could have been came out. You know how many niggas do five thousand, five million, ten million, twenty million? Hey, Walker, run this hip hop. How many artists that sign the labels like yo? I know Walker. That's big dog. Yeah, I remember at one point. Like, I remember at one point while wow, you was just on tour, like. I mean, like you I'm was still doing on like tour. a white boy. Before coronavirus, I was doing at least 200 shows a year, and I'm getting no less than 30,000. Nigga, that's a that's a wrestler. That's a wrestler. <laughs> Niggas get wrestling money, my nigga. Nigga over here like Ric Flair, brother. I ain't gonna lie. That and then you know what's the crazy thing about your crowd is? It's not all black people. No, nah, it's it's all like, everything. Doing the frat boy tours and shit. Like, how did that come you up? Said frat boy. How did yeah, frat? Oh. The, the whole frat yeah, joint. Yeah, definitely, okay. definitely. I started doing Jewish. Some of my friends was Jewish, and that, I didn't know they had like Jewish attorneys and shit. Right. You know what I mean? So that's that, when I hung with them, I started learning the difference between Jewish. I didn't people. know that. Jewish I didn't know frats, that. Mainly? Oh, yeah. oh, I oh, didn't yeah. know that too. You schooling me right now? Yeah, Word. yeah. Okay. I couldn't cool. do like black fraternities first because I wanted to do those, right. but uh, they was like, oh no, nah, no, nah, the crowd and this that. So I'm like, fuck. Let me respect facts and be political. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want nigga here in a fraternity. I seen a movie uh, with Will Ferrell. Like, old, school. Oh, old, school. old school, old school, old school. And I seen like snooping these niggas in the yeah. backyard. I'm like, damn, yeah. niggas do that. I don't want to be in a frat. You know what I mean? We just so, start our own frat. No, I'm we said performing at the frat, frat party. That's that. that. We ain't too old. It, it's ways gangs can actually make their gang a fraternity, but that's another. Yeah. That's, that's another, oh, that's another that's conversation. Hard. We need to start a fraternity. Let's do it. I'm but, sorry. But I fuck with him and he's like, yo, we throw parties at the front. Cool, let's book me. Next in this shit went like wildfire. And for me, I, I do business. No, I'm, I'm inside a commercial and residential real Let me pat yourself because you being humble. Everybody can't go to those type of venues and turn it out. Why not? Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, everyone can. Like, the no, way you no, figured no. out how to access I can book you in it right now. I know. No, 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 no. But you got the music. Market, that's though. what I'm saying. You got, oh, yeah, you yeah, like, yeah, you got the I music to match it. That. I want to be like, we could do drink champs parties at these frats. I can do it. Easily. I've mm -hmm. been to every college in America. Wow. Easy. Wow. Easy. But for me, I went ahead, niggas. You know what I'm saying? I knew these niggas got to rap me, right? So I'm a realist. So I said, cool, let me play off I can't rap. Use that to my benefit. You know what I mean? So whoever liked me was like, oh, that nigga be snapping. I know I can't rap like y'all nigga. Y'all niggas dreamt about this. You know what I mean? It's like niggas play basketball from five to high school, and I just got on the varsity team because I'm six, five, and 12, right? And got a full scholarship. Who's the better basketball player? Can you play you ball? Because you yeah, are a tall yeah, nigga. Yeah, all, right, yeah. all right, cool. That's the first thing I said. I'm like, yo, this is. Yeah, I compare everything to basketball. <laughs> yeah. But that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So for me, I, I went ahead and did the business. I said, yo, let me beat these niggas with fans. On the hack. You know what I'm saying? So let me yeah. fuck with kids. Because in 10 years, they grown ups and y'all old niggas chasing, the, chasing right. what y'all fucked up. Mm -hmm. Y'all out the way. Mm -hmm. So right now, all the niggas that was calling me, the whack rappers, this, I, I really watched them right now. You know what I'm saying? I be mean, looking at like, I knew y'all niggas gonna be washed up because y'all don't get the picture. Y'all in a box. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't washed up. It's just because you don't fuck with it don't mean she don't fuck with it or he don't. Uh, you gotta respect shit. the community. You gotta respect the listeners. You can't, re you can't respect the people that tell you who's around you. Niggas mm -hmm. ain't buying your music, but it ain't for you to get an attitude with your people around right, you. Right. Mm -hmm. Your people around you is not shit. supposed to be your fans, dumbass nigga. Word. So when I see niggas like, my man, my niggas don't support me. I don't want y'all supporting me, nigga. We want them supporting us. <laughs> Damn, That's yo, a us thing. This is a meme right here. Yeah. That was a meme right here. Holy shit, yo. That no, that's why I never sign people. Uh -huh. I like Southside. Southside, my, my little brother, bro. Like, right. I, how the fuck I look like signing Southside? Wow. How the what the fuck? And I know my little brother got kids, a whole family. He take care of my, every, Like, this little nigga, like, he's like me and a producer body. So mm. it's like, how the fuck could I dig in your pocket, little bro? Mm. How? Why not just fuck with you? You get money, I got money. When you get up, it's over. You know, you can ask for a two man, three man, whatever. I'm not gonna be like, what you need for Southside or shit like that. Hell no, nah, nigga, give it up. I know I go to my little brother right now. Yo, little brother, I need a land truck. I need a jet. I need 500,000. All right, big bro. Ain't no calling back for the money, none of that shit. But that's, that's you know, but that's why I did it for. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people always say, yo, you got 808 Mafia. What the fuck make you think I wanted to part of 808 Mafia? If I don't got a part of it, what you think it is? So automatically, another nigga think like, oh, them niggas got beef. I mean, right. yo, we listen to so much shit, and nigga, we just eat it up on the phone, laugh. Like, <laughs> it's whatever. Because nigga, we know where we started from. We was in my mom's basement, our boxes, on a fucked up computer with no face on it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Me and this nigga on x making beats and rapping all day. That's what Nay, we was addicted as young niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. He got He said, what? I'm a big fan of ecstasy. I'm sorry. Man, man South Side was sorry. I know, I know that's not a proper thing to say, but hey, man. Nah, that shit had niggas fucked up. <laughs> yeah, for real. Facts. I ain't gonna lie. I took ecstasy, nothing happened. Ja Rule took ecstasy and wrote love songs and made fucking 16 million. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> did, did you can't say nothing happened to you. 
I mean, you know, I, I didn't write no fucking love songs. I was hanging around. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. A little piece went all John, the way from here. John Rulis is living in the same <laughs> block as me, right? So he comes over one day. He's like, yo, you, 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 um, you fuck with Ian um, e and shit? Yeah, he's from yeah. Wall. I'm like, I'm like this, no, this is when we rappers and shit. So I'm like, yeah. He's like, so he takes this shit. I, I get uh, somebody else, you know, a couple of other things involved. This is back in the days, okay? And this nigga just started going... <laughs> Who's this again? Ja Rule. Uh, I'm looking at this nigga like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Was writing songs on ecstasy, bro. Nigga, I should do whole <laughs> whole mixtapes in a day. In ecstasy. Nigga, I did like forty. I did like. Is this an ecstasy commercial I, I, right now? No, no, don't make it. Don't make it. Don't make it. But you, you know what? Stop making me fuck with that. What happened? Like one day, bro, I was in my house. I used to have lock-in parties. Lock in? Oh, I need yeah, to yeah. hear about these. After, after, uh... Yeah, this locked right. in? Okay. Oh, nah, he locked in the mansion. Nigga, oh, this no. is quarantine? Oh, yeah. Oh, quarantine for quarantine. Quarantine See, I went there and tell stories about these niggas unless they sit at this table with me. But, okay. Uh, hey, man, me, Southside, Lex. I just feel like, for me, I know I felt I was like big homie, big brother. Mm -hmm. But in these niggas' mind, I wanted to be their friend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. in, the, in the outside world, mm -hmm. y'all can believe what y'all want. But nigga, we was a real family. Mm -hmm. I can remember our first day getting money. I come home, eating got fucking liquor bottles surrounding all the corners of the wall, walking down the walls. Mm. There's party packs everywhere. Mm. Like, this shit was real. It was like looking at the NWA movie with Dr. Dre House. Mm. Nigga, my shit was like that every day. But for our people who don't, like, you know, who listen to this, you gotta explain what a party pack is. The party pack? Yeah. Oh, the ecstasy yeah. party pack? I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> it sounds like it's a little piece. It's a, a bag. It's a sandwich bag full of Skittles, man. Sandwich <laughs> bag full of Skittles, and Skittles yeah. could be whatever the fuck you want at this point. You know what I'm saying? For real, you know, like, That shit was, that was different. That shit, I just had to realize, like, one day I woke up, I was just like, nigga, I'm over this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, Dunk got killed. My best friend got killed, so it's just like, I'm done. Like, nigga, I'm... I'm wild. And I start finding out what's in the pill, heroin, speed, crack, yeah, cold, everything. Method. Oh, at my. this point, I'm just saying. Have, have you had Molly? Me? It's the same yeah, shit. It's the same, yeah, it's the same <laughs> shit. He's like, no, but Molly's vegan. I feel like Molly's vegan. I feel like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like the vegan ex. I feel, I feel like Molly is vegan. Yeah, that's fucked yeah, yeah. up. You, you know said the problem that. about it, though? Uh -huh. The problem with pills for me was I, I got to think about trusting people. Mm. Nigga, I don't know what the fuck you put in this pill. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I took a bad pill before. Like, that shit had my, my I couldn't eat. I always used to be like, yeah, that shit got down. Fucked up. My mouth was like out. this. I was in the mix. You don't know what the, the fuck. Hell. You might want to close your ears, Diego. I was hanging out with Scott Storch one night. He just, he just had, it was, it was, it was just MDMA. He was like, yo, look, everybody's going like that. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> that finger fuck. I can't even lie to you. I was like that. What, it was powder form? It was MD, it was like powder form, but yeah, it was MDMA, but that shit we was We call it pure. sand. It we call it so. sand. Yeah. Uh, sand. And, and I, going I, to I the just, beach. It's like everybody was just going like that. I'm like, oh, I ain't fucking with that shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit, man. <laughs> Another one. It was, it was, another one. It was fantastic. I'm afraid of that shit now, though. Uh, MDMA? I, I, I got so, I, to me, I'm 34. I feel like, nigga, my body couldn't handle the shit I was doing. Yeah. Like, but lean, I could never fuck with lean. Oh, you would never like, lean. Like, that's heroin. What yeah. the fuck do I look like taking heroin? I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna, like, it ain't about me judging other niggas. That's nah, different. I, I, I ain't judging heroin, either, but I'm a little bit judgmental. Yeah, yeah. I've been seeing things like that. On the lane. Like, my dude, that shit I can't is do heroin. That. Word. I'm afraid. Like, I don't even want no so, nigga so, to slide I mean, Atlanta's on big on... Um, that's, that's Atlanta. I'm from yeah. Clayton County. Yeah, yeah. Out there, they don't want We ain't drinking no lean in Clayton. Hell yeah, nah. We on all uppers. Uppers. You get caught down, you going down. Oh, wow. You getting down. You laying wow. down. Wow. You ducking down. Mm. So it's, that down go, that's a good metaphor for a nigga. Yeah, down to earth. Down to earth. Like, I would imagine I'm Miami. Nigga, I gotta be up too. alert. Like, like Miami what? cocaine. Like, yeah, yo, Miami it's a big on thing. cocaine. Everybody on cocaine. Like, everybody out here. Up. Yo, let me tell you Miami something. Miami base, we wanted to go fast. My first know? six months of living out here, I got to, like, to understand that niggas do coke out here. And it's weird because this is the only place I've ever got offered steroids in my life. Like, no one offers like some steroids. Like, so, for fun. Like, yeah. want some steroids. Listen, I'm just, I'm, I'm just sitting around, like, uh, somewhere, and a nigga said, hey, you. man, you want to eat some You want to bump, you want to bump, bump? Look at you, though. And I didn't realize I was outside of Equinox. You know what I'm saying? Niggas selling bodies? No, they ain't selling niggas bodies? Nah, it's never, big out here. Steroids is Listen, I've never seen that nowhere else in the world. Like, a nigga just come up to you, like, see you. 
<coughs> you, know, you think niggas out here buying bodies taking steroids? Man, no, no yeah. I know they are. What are you oh, talking no, about? No. Our friends is me. I'm just steroid no, it's, friends. It's, it's crazy. In our group, we have steroid friends. friends. <laughs> we have steroid friends in our group. Oh, God. It's no, nah, nigga, real talk. You gotta realize our hair is a difference. They like, they like everything is conscious. So men. Actually, they go and do that shit. They really do the steroid shit. Abs, pumping their chest. ass, and the guys are pumping listen, their muscles. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, if you hang out, listen. If you hang out more than I've never been a Miami kind of person. Oh yeah, you don't uh, like Miami? I don't like ocean. ocean. No, no, but yeah, yeah ocean, no, that's not Miami. I never heard that. Ocean drive, not Miami. Miami like, beach, you can not be going Miami. on yeah, ocean like drive. boat parties and shit. I'll be like, bro, I ain't doing that. Yeah, but we don't consider that You like the ocean? I don't get in the ocean, but I look at it. I rather go to a lake. A lake? I'm a oh, country you, you nigga. You just don't bro. like the ocean, period. What the fuck is in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, but a lake, don't, a lake don't remind you of Jason? You don't think about nah, Jason? Nah, man. I don't want to be on a lake. Halloween didn't exist to the 70s. I know it's a myth. Now, yeah. that ocean, mm. nigga can't even tell you what's under nah, the water. That, nah, that is a fact. I but they want you to go watch 42 meters below. I watched watch Shark Week. Uh, Attack on a shark. You watched Shark, shark Week? Yeah, shark. Fuck. Yo, Nori. Yeah. I was about to go, like, I, you know, I got I had a fear fighting kind of thing. I used to be scared of heights on skydive. Oh, word. That shit was hella fun. But now I'm, going, I'm about to go in the shark cage. And try okay, to okay, I wasn't ready for But I wasn't ready for that. I was yeah, like, you know something? I'm you too go real. in the shark cage? Because nigga, so already, I, I want to fight the fear. Diving. But then I thought, I'm like, you know something? I'm never in my life could be fucking with the water, so yeah. I don't want no beachfront house. Like, right. and me and Tammy, like, Tammy want to go for a birthday? She want to go somewhere by the ocean? Mm. Yo, baby, just get, bring you and your friends. You know what I'm saying? I can't be in the sun all fucking day. Like, that shit is... It ain't for me. We gotta get you out of that flock. You that's gotta, you gotta enjoy the sun. I can't stand sweating and being that shit nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mosquito biting you and shit. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to enjoy, enjoy the food when you hot <laughs> sweating. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess New York stuck in me. Yeah, I ain't gonna Hell, fuck. Hell, no. I, really, I got a pool. I got a salt. I got a salt water pool. Oh, salt water pool. Yeah, that's I'm all, that's a good shit. That's I'm hard. Cool. That's hard. That's fuck, hard. Man, I got a sauna, a steam room, yeah. all kinds of shit. I was, God I'm damn, cool. Force that shit. That's all. <laughs> So, I'm gonna get some more kind. Yeah, come on. We're doing a little shower. I'm gonna join you. I'm gonna get the grown right, folks. Oh, you. we switching up? I'm gonna be honest. That that don't look like my speed right there. I'm gonna be That's honest. I'm gonna clear her up. Oh, you're clear up? I'm gonna I'm 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 switch to oh, the no, clear I'm definitely not fucking with you right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch. This is where we switch at. Y'all niggas got yoga mats? I've never seen Shall this. I don't, I don't drink. Uh, what is that? Yoga mats? Oh. Nah, no, we make mats. You gotta get your drink oh, okay, champ mats. Okay, okay, all right, cool. I thought, I was like, y'all think about to work out? What's nah, going on? My, my, my man make the mats. That's hard, bro. That's, that's a oh, mat. Are those you vegan see? mats? Yeah, 100%. Uh -huh. You know the thing about like us, right? Mm -hmm. We try to create businesses that, that flow. Right. And uh, it's like drink chance, for instance. What? This is an asset. Yes. Thanks. It's a real asset. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, like when I start learning that word, mm -hmm. I start learning like trust, I'm mm -hmm. going to jump right into it. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? When I start learning like insurance, when I need to pay taxes, I can just fuck with my insurance and pay my taxes. Like when I start learning how to use trust funds and mm -hmm. shell companies and pay myself on payroll, Life got different, you know what I'm saying? When I started learning, I could pull policies out on shit. Like, I'm like, oh shit. Companies could have tax like, IDs. You get marriage boot camp too, right? Hey, yeah. Yeah. That shit was fun as a motherfucker. That, 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 big bag? Huh? Big bag? They, they own me right about now. the bag. Honestly, yeah. me? It's about the bag with me. I don't know. Yeah, they own me a little bit. I'm not sure though. But see, Why, you need marriage boot camp? I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Marriage money. <laughs> I'm, Yo, I'm trying to get married next Yo, year. Again. I ain't gonna lie, no, bro. <laughs> That shit, like for me and my wife, I'm married, so yeah, people, I'm married too. Yeah, so people forget, goddamn, that being married is like being human. Nigga, like, we still going through the regular human shit. Right. So, but we just want to try some different shit. And I'm on that bitch looking like a fat ass dyke, man. I'm looking bad. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was fat as hell. Man, I want that motherfucker like, oh, well, I gotta work out for real. Oh, but I was liking to be big. Like me yeah. and Tim was just, that's my dog. Yeah. So it was like something new for us. It was fun yeah. as fuck. Right. So I happened to be on TBR or whatever. And plus, it's like a lot of people. And, and who was doing there with you? I forgot. Lil oh. Mo, man, I Lil, love Lil Mo. Lil Mo, she a gangster. Lil Mo is like a guy, like Martin. It's like Martin's daughter. Wait, bro, she's Lawrence? Lawrence? Wise, bro, like she gotta be related to Martin Lawrence, man. <laughs> She is, is the funniest <laughs> female. Bro. Oh, why I feel like I, she look like him now? Hey, yo, 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 Lou Mo, my nigga. If you ever go on like a couple retreat, <laughs> right. if you don't invite Lou Mo on, man, right. he, he's bugging. No, but she broke up with a man though. They, it's, it's, it's old. Nah, it's her business. But I'm just saying, yeah. like, if you just get lost, see, I don't like talking about no Bill mm -hmm. North. It's like a thin line. Nah, you know? I respect that. 
You know, okay. I can no, I'm just letting you know, just in case you ain't know, like um, the, 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 nah, I knew it. You know, what I'm saying? Yeah. she got, she is, you know, she happens. Yeah, but uh, that that shit, it was fun though. That shit was fun to hell, mm. and, and it helped too. Mm. But they were doing some real and, shit. And what did you like better? Because you also did love and hip hop a little. Wait, bit. Wait, but the, this one is what VH1. Oh, nah, no, man, this Boot, is WeCap, We TV. Mass Boot Camp was better because I was into it. Uh, love and hip hop. I only did this shit so my wife got a platform. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and black women or younger women can well, have somebody to look at you. You were into fixing your marriage for marriage boot camp. You saying? Nah, we was just going to have fun. My marriage was fixed. Okay. Oh fuck yeah! Like, okay. Ain't no TV go tell me how to be in love. Ain't no therapist. Right. You can advise me, my nigga. But, but overall, do you think it helped you? Oh yeah, it helped me as a okay. person. Yeah, yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. That doctor, the doctor dude is real. Uh, um, the dude with the, with the bracelets on. I fuck with him. Yeah. But it was it was real for what they did. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm not going to shoot them down. Right. But that shit was fun as a motherfucker, my nigga. Like. But we took some shit home. Like, one thing I did take home is when we talk to each other. Mm -hmm. You ever talk to somebody when you say something like, yeah, all right. You say something like, yeah, all right. But when you say shit, you really got to stop. Catch and a little listen. two seconds, listen. Like, all right, yo, we start learning how to talk a little better. Because wow. cause Tammy's from, like, projects. I'm from the hood. Okay. She, from the, she grew up in the projects. I grew up in the hood, the ghetto. It's, like, different. Tammy's hood is a motherfucker. Get out of here. Niggas she be, don't seem hood bro, at all. ghetto fabulous, bro. <laughs> okay. I love it, though. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> nigga be thinking my girl bougie is a motherfucker. Right, right. And she be reading right through it. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like that. Because of Tammy. Thanks a little bit Tammy got that. And uh, I, like, I like, you know, I don't know your um, lady, obviously. Um, but I like y'all together. Like y'all union, y'all bond. It feels real. Yeah. It doesn't feel rehearsed. It doesn't feel acted. It doesn't feel like... One is trying, it's like she calls you on your shit, you call her on her shit, or whatever. And I just, I like y'all union. You nah, it's never that? an embarrassing moment. Wow. I got, wow. like, wow. one thing she she taught me, though, wow. is how to zone people out. Oh, wow. Because she do shit that'll make me, like... What you mean, like haters or something? I just zone humans out. Okay. You know how your girl, your wife, <laughs> like, nigga, they could do, yo, they could be the most irritating motherfucker <laughs> on <laughs> earth. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? But, but then <laughs> it shows you to be like, yo, if you could really deal with this, you really love her. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. For me, for a nigga like me, <clears throat> I just didn't want to be single. Mm. I don't give a fuck about prenups and this shit because I don't feel like I need an exit strategy. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? Right. I'm just talking bro talk, bitch. You right. ain't going nowhere. Like, right. <laughs> this, uh, it's, it's not, it's right. not going to happen, but it's not about that. Mm. I'm so real with Tammy. I was like, yo, let me help you become a millionaire. Mm. So God forbid if something happened to me, mm. you don't even have to be with me because you need me financially. Let me take that out your mind or anybody else's mind around you. I need people who, who in your family That's to look up and love you. That's and when she touched her first million, right. I'm like, all right, let me see how she go act. The next year, Tammy was like, yo, let me pay all the bills. Mm. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck? In my head, I'm like, shit, go ahead, baby. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's next gangster, goddamn. Right. Oh, that's gangster. I let her too, like a motherfucker. Uh, go ahead, uh, shit, pay that motherfucker. Uh, and uh, she enjoyed that, though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? She the kind of person, like, she likes supporting everybody. Right. We, we, she, we just have old morals and shit. We the old moral black people, like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, talk to Miss Trudy. Make sure she's right. good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Call her adult auntie or uncle. You can't be like, yo, Joe. You got like Uncle Joe. It's like, right. we come from that era. Like, mop and flow. Mm -hmm. Goddamn, can't open the door because they're letting the air condition out. Mm -hmm. Can't play the game all day. Can't watch cursing on TV. We come from that era. Mm. So what did you like more? You liked the uh, Love and Hip Hop or Marriage Boot Camp? Marriage Boot Camp. Yeah? By far. Uh, Why well, Love and Hip Hop? I wasn't into that shit. I wasn't, that wasn't even like, I didn't give a fuck about it. Like, I was just doing it to like, do it. I seen Tammy crying on TV. And that's what fucked me up. I see my wife, my mom, and them crying on TV. I'm like, yo, y'all. I'm in my own world and shit. And niggas like, yo, I guess, hey, yeah. Like, I fucked up. And I'm like, damn, because sometimes you can get so selfish. My nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, being an artist or being rich. Like, that moment in the moment where I ran a stop sign and called my brother. Those two moments where I was like, it's like, it reminded me of my brother's like, yo. He said, yo, why? Pull over, pull over. I'm like, what happened? Like, nigga, pull over. He stopped the car. I was like, yo, don't ever in your fucking life, nigga, run the red light. He's like, nigga, you that rich, nigga, that you think you above the law? Like, it was like a wow. like a check, you know what I'm saying? And just see my wife and my mom was crying on TV. That ain't gangster, nigga. That ain't no ball shit. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck I got all these companies and want to do all these artists and be this great? And I'm fucking on my wife. I'm supposed to be a role model to niggas. So if I can't sacrifice that for success, come on, my nigga. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a sacrifice. Yeah. Your dick is a, is a hard challenge as a man. And, and I don't, if you ain't no man, you can never speak on how I feel to, to stop the craves I, yeah, I, of pussy. I got a friend. He's, so. he's, he's an idiot friend. Um, I love him for 20 years. Every beef he's ever had is over a bitch. 
Yeah, and he man. still doesn't get it. He still doesn't get it or notice that every, like, you idiot, every, like, shit you get into is because of a bitch. 60% of my beef was because of women. Wow. All women. Wow. When you young, nigga, you flexing for a bitch. Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you out here teed up because you want some pussy at the end of the day, but that ain't what you're doing it for. But some niggas don't know how to take it. You talking to that girl, or you slept with somebody, girl, I'm going to take a nigga bitch. Like, when you a young nigga, you love that term. Yeah. I'm going to take that nigga bitch. That's the stupidest shit in the world. Nigga, right, like, you're taking his problems. Wow, like, <laughs> thank you, nigga. Like, but I don't know, man. It's different, though. You know, it's like contradicting when you grow up. All right. Yeah, nah, shit is, shit is crazy, man. Um, I was thinking about that the other day. Uh, well, switching the subject. Getting on the record label thing. I seen Steve Stout the other day say, how dare record labels actually pay you for your image? Then they own the image and they make you pay them back for that. Actually. That's crazy, man. Like your likeness. Yo, you know yeah. something? Laws and music need to change. Yeah. Wow. Laws in music? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Record labels need, we need to change the laws in record labels. Right. Cause yeah. what, 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 was the, what was what was what was I think that conversation yeah. that conversation is a private conversation. That's yeah. not a conversation that needs to be on social okay. media and raise awareness and right. all that punk shit, because that ain't nothing but but uh But right now the mess. conversation should be had. You know why? Yeah, with people that why need that need to hear it. Because you know why? I'm gonna tell you. Right now, even calling the actual master, a master. Just think about that. Yeah. That's some slave shit right there. I'm slave. I'm in a slave. Nigga, Warner Brother got my YouTube hostage. I ain't been a sign of Warner Brother since fucking 2013. Wow. But these niggas got me in a slave contract, a 360. This this when I was knowledgeable. Why? The fact, like, I never want to fuck with YouTube for the fact that they ran my page. I couldn't even run ads on my shit, get money on my shit, nothing, because they got it. Wow. Some niggas was hindering me from growing as an artist. That's what made me go to EDM and it's that and the third. To this day, I'm fighting. Mm. Like, I'm definitely about to try to sue him right now. Like, I ain't even want to do that. It's just like, yo, my nigga, I don't even want that kind of energy. I'm not putting no music out. I'm not doing nothing. Why the fuck do y'all got my uh, my music? You know what I'm saying? Damn, I, I was I was in a, uh, in a, uh, in a uh, I did a deal with Warner Chapel as well. I had a I'm, I'm publishing. I, yeah, I pub, a pub deal. Uh, I had a, a commitment deal. That's like a slave deal. Give me the blunt. You know what I'm saying? Works. But guess what, guess what, guess what, guess what Warner Chapel do? Niggas so gangsta, like, yo, you know what? Basically, niggas respect the legacy. Yo, we're gonna terminate the contract. Yeah, Warner That's Chapel's right. good people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Warner Chapel go, what the fuck's up with Warner Brothers? Yeah, you know still, what I'm saying? I didn't know that. That's some cocksucker shit. Y'all niggas holding niggas YouTube that ain't signing y'all. You gotta remember, the, the modern day music industry was built by the mob. Right. By the Italian mafia, most part. Modern day music business. And it oh. still persists. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only dress? No more. All right, man, send them all. Hold the motherfucker. What are you been holding all Holding blunts over the fucking hostage? <laughs> oh, damn. But I, I... Oh, you smoked the OG blunts. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. I'm old, I'm old school, man. I'm sorry, man. I got my <coughs> marijuana, my actual marijuana. Cherry. Uh, big, let's big up to uh, let's show his, 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 his... I got um, big up to my people at Cherry, uh, Denver, Colorado. But I got my Super Thug OG. It's just released. I'm very um, excited about it, man. Um... And next time you come, I'm going to send you your, 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 your party pack. Yeah, you pack. been in Denver Heavy. I'll be out there. Yeah, I'll be there this Wednesday. I'll I know about Wednesday. your clothing and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there, I'll be hey, there Wednesday. Yeah, I'm man. out here, no. Like, like, yeah, yeah, no. I love I'm that. I'll be there Wednesday. Like, like I said, I'll be there Wednesday. Um, big up to everybody in Denver because, you know, a lot of people don't know that they, that's the first recreational place in America. State. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people give it to oh, L.A. Right. and big up to L.A. for being rec now. Now they're recreational, but when... Uh, Not Denver, Denver the shit. Yeah, Denver didn't... Start with medical. They went straight into one of my companies is out of Denver. Oh yeah, clothing yeah. company Dro. Oh okay. We got flour and all that shit. Mm. It's popping right now. God damn, make some noise. You got a lot of companies, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my my, my man, my company's like, yo, bro, we up to fifty p's a month now. Right. I'm right. like, damn, nigga, I'm selling fifty right. bags a week yeah. legally, legally every yo. month. Legal. God damn. Like, I used to be up to like five thousand, ten thousand. Now, now, New York City had two phenomenal eras. Yeah. Of gangsterism, drug dealing, hustling shit. Now the two errors was Al Poe and Rich uptown, and the other error was Supreme Team in mm. Queens. You actually have family that was involved in that. Was, was that like pressure, like growing up, like you knowing that your family was involved with one of the most notorious? I can't call them a gang. It's just a crew, I would say. Shit, it's just the unspoken truth. Right, right. Like, 
know what I'm saying? Right. Because yeah. a lot of people don't know. Like, your family is smack dead in the middle of that. Unspoken truth. Right. 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 It right. is what it is. Right. Though I could have used that to my benefit, but... Right. Man, just... Right. I'd rather just goddamn let you find out the hard way. Mm-hmm. But... I don't know, man. But was it pressure on you? Like, was, was I moved to Georgia? Mm. I wanted my own identity. If, what you saying? If you would have been in, in, in hey, New I just York, wanted my own lot. identity. I understand. Man. I understand. That shit was it was too easy. Like, yeah. It's like, hey, you such and such fam. Hey, mm-hmm. you got this. Hey, mm-hmm. don't touch him. Let Shorty go. Yo, mm-hmm. yo, yo, yo. Yeah, you, 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 you were born a legend in New York. So you saying you you moved to uh, Georgia? Yeah, get my own identity. Get your own identity. Yeah. I, respect that. I was playing ball though. I wanted to play basketball. Wow. So, you know, in New York, it's like, yo, we moved to down there in the country. Right. Like, we think in Georgia, then it was like Barnes, Hay. Right. right. Nigga, I got to Georgia. This shit was freak dick. Yeah. <laughs> niggas in elementary school selling crack. Right. Where these niggas ticking. They got right. elevi- like kids' clubs. Right. Georgia was just cool as a motherfucker. I just fell in love. Like, I'm like, right. I ain't never going back to New York. Right. It's over, nigga. I'm breaking that shit down. Yeah. New face, new face. One of my favorite restaurants is Busy Bees. You know what I'm talking about? Across the street from the um, projects? I'm on, on MLK. Yeah. yeah, yeah they I, just I, built I, a Walmart and a Chick-fil-A across the street from Oh, it's not the projects across the street no more? Nah. Damn, I used to go there just to feel terrified. Oh, yeah. That's the one I wanted to, I love, I love, like, I love like that, you know, like, oh, I could get shot? Like, fuck it. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm just, I'm sorry. Like, I love that. Like, I used to go to Watts. Niggas be like, yo, no one goes to Watts, no? I love the Watts show, love, though. Like, I, I love Watts. Like, Watts like, and people be looking at me like, yo, people from Watts be telling me, stop this, man. <laughs> and I'll just go there. Like, I'm just different. I'm the, I like the Watts. The Watts remind me like Chicago, the, Memphis. Chicago. And I, the Bay, too. I, okay. I like Acorn every, projects. Yeah, I like West me. Oakland. Every time I say the Bay, I just gotta cop my car. Oh, I don't yes. know what's wrong. Say you forty. Like, like, at forty, man. <laughs> yeah. it was that Mac Dre shit, man. Yeah, yeah, well, I love the Bay. I love yeah. the, man. I, I just, bro, yeah. I love real shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I love. I like. It sounds cliche, but I really love right. seeing real niggas win. Right. But me I seen, too. I seen, I seen the downfall to every real nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's financial literacy. Mm. Not knowing how to count, nigga. Mm. That's. That's like reading green eggs and ham. Mm. You should automatically know how to read that book like you should automatically know how to count. Mm. But having real financial literacy, like knowing that your business can have the same rights as your son that mm. you created, mm. you know what I mean? That, that's like, that's a whole nother ball game. Mm. Knowing if I could, I could take a million dollars and show you how to never go broke from it. Wow. But you gotta live a certain way. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody that wanna live fabulous, nigga, you gotta do fabulous things to live that way. Now, niggas is hurting right now, Flocka. Now they hurting because they don't got literacy. Mm. Now, if you had literacy right now, you'd be happy as a motherfucker. Right now, I'm going to tell you Like, truth. I lost a lot of money in the pandemic. It's either, it's either you hurting or you getting up. Like, my broke friends are fucking up right now. They're taking care of the bill. You know why? Because Twin they, brought a whole case of low end to see me the other day. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> he brought a whole case? This is a one-bottle guy at most. He flew to Vegas with fifty dollars and came back with seventy. I swear to God, came back with eighty. This is and right now he's up. He brought a whole case. This is real drug dealing shit. And a whole he case. And he came for the bill. So no, I love. Up. I love. Remember, I love. You know, I love hood, hood shit yeah. because hood motherfuckers got the best work creativity. ethic. Yes, the best creativity that I ever seen ever in my life. But right. they, the downfall is. This is this, this what we got to stop thinking like, saying trust. Trust is everything, bro. Mm. I'm talking about that shit's so important, it's on the back of your money. Yep, trust in God, right? It says that, some shit like that. In God, we trust. In God, we trust, yeah. In God, right. we right. trust. Right. Why the fuck can they say in trust, we God? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I'm just telling you, like, so, so a nigga like me, I'm like the wrong nigga to be for you, and I ain't trying to scare a nigga. Mm. Cause bro, you gonna push me and shit, and I, I just look around and be like, you know something, I might lose. Right. Let me goddamn give it up. But the way I'm, I'm gonna go home and think about it, uh, I'm gonna tell you, something, you gotta think, Nori, that's all I'm telling nigga. I'm tell you something, Flock. That's why I used to be scared for you, because you know why? I look in your eyes, you're so real, you're a real nigga. And I don't say this to everybody, I don't say this about everybody. And you never lied to me. Not once. I ain't trying to lie, and I, don't, the, I got a bad memory. Here's the crazy mm-hmm. shit, here's the crazy shit. That's the norm in this business that we're in. You understand? Yeah. So when you have to, just think about how foul this business is. When you, 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 I can remember the five people that never lied to me. And I can remember them. Yeah. Like, and, and that shit is a higher le- level to me. Like, I, you, like, when I first met you, I don't know if you remember, you reminded me of me. 
So I was scared of you. <laughs> because I, when, if I look at the version of me, if I look at the version of me, I know me. So I was, I was scared. There's only one other nigga that reminded me at the time, and that was Meek Mill. I had seen Meek Mill and, um, and he, he, had, uh, he reminded me of me because of how, how many people he had with him. And he had it under control. Because a lot of people have a lot of niggas with you, and you ain't got no control over it. It means nothing. Right. These dudes that's around you, that's, that's it's, it's just a facade. I, like, like you know, when I had 80 niggas with me, I, I'll go like this. Things would just turn around and just, you know what I'm saying? Not like they was, but they was on that type of time. But it was you and Meek Mill at one point where I was just like, but you, a real nigga, my dude. Like, you, every, every time you, you kept your word with me, every, every, every single single time. And I want to tell you, I thank you, man. I, 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 but, but, but that, in this game, is the opposite. Because you are uh, the minority. You are, like, you know, being a realist. I, you're right. Yo, I'm telling you. We, yo, we, we minorities, bro. I swear bro. to you, bro. We, Let me tell you something. This is how I knew. Mm-hmm. Fuck the game. I got shot, bro, right? I got right. That nigga tied monsters, bro. So he ain't say, yo, Walker, you good? No, Wait, guess you what he said, said you got shot in court? I got shot. And I, I, like, you know, nigga's like, oh, Ty, I want to talk. I'm like, oh, this nigga putting up the money. What's up? Right. I'm thinking about the call with a bag. You know what the nigga asked me? Yo, you okay? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you, when you getting back in the studio? Mm. Wow. I could have been mad at that nigga all I want. But he let me know he in it for the money. So like, let me stop taking it personal. And let me stop paying attention to niggas like that. See, I know these niggas fake. And if I pay attention to these niggas, I'm a fake-ass nigga. Right. So that's why I never got to do songs with people and hang with people and click up and be buddies. Cause I know that shit fake. Bro, I know you fuck with me because I'm hot, bro. Right. So let me get, let me, let me, let me put my own fire. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, and nigga, my fire got me right here. Yeah, I started in 07, 08. Let's, 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 let's take you know a shot for that. Let's take a shot for that. Yeah, I'm a Damn. cognac drinker, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to do Colombian wet on this one. All right. <laughs> And that might not Salute. be a rap mix, though. Salute. <laughs> Salute, man. Take a shot. Cheers. Yo, but I'm going to tell you a story. Oh, that wasn't the right mix. I'm going to tell you, uh, well, the person, Tom Moskowitz, which I do like, oh, and I fuck. think he's a, uh, 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 a cool guy, but I don't know. See, don't you know. think he cool, but he broke never, my, he, never, he broke never, my team up. You talking about a side yeah. dude, right? Yeah, yeah, I never um, really did. Yeah, he broke my team up. But I'm going to tell, tell you a story that, that's going to help you with this. I'm, I got the number one record in Def Jam at the time. Mm-hmm. Leo Cones tells me, come to, come to the crib. Leo Cones. Tom is, what is it, Homeboy? Homeboy's a record? Nah, Leo, um, Leo Cones, is, that's, that's, that's different. I don't know him. Yeah, so, well, so I'm going to give you this story. And he's, he's actually like Todd's OG. See, you, see, when you met Leo, mm-hmm. Todd was Leo when I met him. Okay, all right. So, so, you, so caught, yeah. you caught the coming up Todd. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Not that I go. do business with you, okay, Todd. Okay, there you go. You, I, 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 you got me. Everybody right. cool as fuck when they trying to goddamn so beat somebody. I'm gonna somebody. tell you what Leo did to me. So Leo comes and he invites me to his crib. So he got this, it's a Park Avenue, it's crazy mansion, right? So I go in and I'm like, yo, I'm amazed, you know, because this is in, this is Manhattan, and he has like a, a fucking mansion. So he goes, you like this place? And I go, yeah. And he goes, well, make sure you hot enough so I will invite you back here next year. See, I can't do that. I've been nigga to slap him. I couldn't do that. I'd have spit on him. I, I swear, and no disrespect to Leo Cohen. Bro, you got me fucked up, lame ass nigga. Like, you see, I'm different. I couldn't Listen, do that. You are one million percent correct. But that you probably one, stabbed him. That one line taught me the whole music like, business. Like, thinks that's, that's. Oh, that was your shot moment. That, yeah, that was yeah. my moment yeah. where yeah. I was like, that's exactly. Because don't ever get this twisted. It's a business. It's a fucking business. It's a business. We are not friends. You're in my house. Right. And I don't invite nobody to my house that I'm not friends with. But he That's said exactly nigga. What he, told you. he didn't say nigga. He did not. But he, <laughs> I don't want to say that ever. But it was basically like, you paid the bills this month. Pay it again. Wow. You're That's number one this month. Right. You know what I mean? Last month, Mariah Carey was here. You see, but that's buck breaking. See, if you a nigga oh, got shit. literacy and you conscious, what? that's buck. That's buck breaking. Buck breaking. That's like master talk. Let's get into that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, ah, you, you doing that fly shit? Yeah. The little nigga, come get a bigger. Come get a break. It's nah, like but, it's selling but, you. Like, but you know why? I, I didn't want to turn it into he, racial because you know why? No, it ain't racist. It had, had it's business. Kevin Lyles did the same exact thing. I would have took it the same exact way. Yeah. And that's really what it is. It's really like they make it racist. No, that shit don't be racist. That, that, that shit all business. Okay. It's literacy. It's just right. hey. It's all y'all niggas want to act the same way. Shit, we go in, in our world. We go. How about Mike Kaiser? Was your relationship with Mike Kaiser? Yeah, yeah I fuck okay. with Mike. Okay, yeah, I fuck with Mike Craig. Yeah. All of them, yeah. Mike Kaiser. Yeah, he's, he's Atlantic. I fuck with Atlantic staff. Yeah. See, Atlantic, Atlantic just 
they caught the bad, the bad end of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's when like a Warner Brother was just, right. nigga, they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. That's and when they shut it left. down and merged it with Atlantic mm. type shit. You know, I just went to Atlantic by default. Like they did what they tried to do what they could do. It was nothing they could do. I was already over all that shit. I think Mike Kaiser falling off. I haven't been seeing him taking the bills lately. He hasn't been <laughs> you, taking you care of the bills. for a minute. Yeah, listen, Mike Kaiser, I think you falling off out there, man. I see your big house with your dog and all that, but I haven't seen you at the Prime 112 at that table. Didn't we take a bill one time that you thought he was yeah, going to take? Yeah! <laughs> Kaiser, I'm watching you at your ass out there. I love he ain't eating no steak. <laughs> yeah, Kaiser, man. Listen, man, Kaiser, Kaiser back in the day used to be a big trick. I don't know if you know that. Like, every chick nah. in the industry, <laughs> every chick in the industry would go hang out and man, get, get a good meal on Kaiser. I know, I know all you know these niggas' story. I know all all these stories, they've been yeah. around the family members. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? But, but for me, I wanted to go through this shit myself. Mm. So I could teach another nigga going through it. Mm. Like, I could have easily pulled cars, pressed niggas' kids in colleges. I took pictures with all their kids. Mm. Like, I could have got violent. Mm. But for what? I need to be humble to myself. And you never got into a rap beef. Like, like uh, hell no. Like back I wanna, and forth. I'm not, once again, I'm not trying to be gangster, but I can't sleep, so I'd rather just smoke it. And I know, goddamn, we're going to. I, I know I'm gonna blow my blessing, so I might as well don't beef. Right. Mm. Leave you so alone, if someone man. made a rap diss towards you, would 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 they not? Uh, the nah, energy, they, someone can. They can't, man. Eventually, why? I don't know. What the fuck am I doing I to make a nigga gotta... beef from? It's impossible. What I hear niggas like, yo, Walker trying to be woke and conscious. Man, on my dad, brother, I hope my mama died from lying. Nigga, I'm not trying to walk around and be conscious. Right. Nigga, I'm just talking the shit I experienced. Nigga, I'm Real telling shit. you the truth. Like, truth. I'm not, when I see lame shit, you think I'm supposed to let that shit fly and ride? No, nigga. It's, it's cap. Right. You think I'm going to tell a nigga stop signing the majors and doing this? No, I'm not going to tell you shit. Like, so right now, if Joey Badass drops a Waka Flocka. Oh, you gotta put Joey Badass That's my dog. That's a little more. That's a little more. That's fucked up. I'm just trying to make up a rap. Make up a rap. Make up a rap. Make up a rap. Make up a diss record towards Waka Flocka. Your first reaction is not to do it. I've never heard, I got diss records about me, but I've never listened to them. You know why? Because I only rap for the money. And me knowing that I actually could goddamn get money right now. Right. Bro, I'm not finna beef with you, bro. Right. I'm finna fuck this bag up. Right. Fuck you, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. everybody that think I'm lying. Mm -hmm. When y'all see me, bro, just do what you gotta do. Because mm. it's game time. I'm letting you know right now. I don't care how gangster y'all is, right. how many bodies you got, because I could take all that hype right. in one altercation. Okay. I could okay, take your whole this? gangster card from How about this? Would you do a versus battle? I, nigga, I don't know how to rap like that. No, uh, it's, it's about it's, your, it's, your, your catalog. It's about your catalog. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm not sure. Again, I ain't you, trying you know, to talk. You, you know what versus battle is, though, right? You, you don't, you don't, you, man, you, man, you, man, you ain't man. been paying attention? That ain't for me. Come on, Flocka, come on. Nah, that ain't for me. <laughs> 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 you I can't rather, tell me I'd rather sit and talk to a nigga about his old catalog, how we could flip that shit. <laughs> like, I could tell you, like, hey, Nori, let's get in the studio and <laughs> remaster your CD because now you will own the publishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way around that shit. Damn. Right. You just yeah. heard that juice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, right, I'm, I'm just saying though, you're like That's me. I, I, I'm the nigga, bro. Like, bro, I'm like, bro. I'm not. I'm not with pointing at right. crackers and saying Jews did this and right. how I said that. I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas did. I'm about to do what we gotta do. But can you repeat that about remastering? Yeah, y'all got this shit recorded. We can rewind. <laughs> <laughs> No, but you do know what versus battle is, right? It's, I watch it. Okay, that shit, it, but you know would you? Would you I can't would, do it. Would, would, you can't, because bro, because I don't. I, I just rather pre prevent it. No, because it's a celebration. It's it not, is, but that shit, that shit be going left, man. No, no, no. Like look at no. that Ti and Fifty shit. That shit slick was going left. See, I said that. You know what I I'm talk, saying? I choked the ticket. Tick but off. it's how he said it. He, Tip? It's like how Tip said it. That's yeah. that's 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 big. That's big, bro. Yeah. Fifty big, bro. I right. can say that because I'm a real nigga. Right. Yep. I call him big, bro, because these niggas elevated from the streets and became grown ass businessmen. Yep. So I'm gonna call you big, big, bro, big that's dog. I fuck with you. So it's just how he came and he right. did it. He did it from a position. Tip did it from a position where everybody could see, like he like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I, but I like how I got them Mace flipped it. Hey, I need you to go against Rick Ross. Cool, that threw some pillows in. You know what I'm saying? Wait, Mace said that? Oh yeah, Rick Ross and Tip. That's a better battle. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'd rather see that. But I just, some shit, bro, if we real niggas, right. it's a way to challenge a real nigga, bro. Yeah. You don't do it in front of an audience because now you put me in a stance of defending of defense. who I am. Of defense, yes. That's what I was trying to tell you. know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Thank that, you. That's like me, bro. I can't expose no industry because that's dry snitching and stitches, right. snitches get stitches. Mm. So when you see woke niggas randomly dying, y'all niggas is ratting. 
Wow. Fuck you think gonna happen? Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just being honest. Like wow. so, when I see challenges and shit, if fans don't do it, I ain't, I ain't. I'm doing shit for my fans. I don't give a fuck about nobody, no blog, no nothing. Cause y'all niggas ain't buying and supporting me, bro. Right. I need to fuck with the fans. That's it. And I did it my whole career. That's why I take a zillion pictures. Cause right. they made me who I am. Not, the, not the owner of this blog or that stuff. Or that. All, all respect to all them niggas, but y'all just got money and a good advising team. Y'all niggas don't know the culture, so you really right. should shut the fuck up and start telling us how to rock and show us how to expand. That's the difference. We're giving the people that are on the platform too much power. Right. Nigga, y'all platform ain't shit if we ain't rapping. Talk, talk shut that the shit. fuck up and show us how to expand. Talk, talk that That's shit. It. Talk that shit. Make some noise for that. <laughs> There's one thing about this guy that I respect. Um, I don't see eye to eye with him. I don't think I, I like him. I don't think he likes me. Um, but the one thing I respect about him is the love that he shows you. Ooh. And Tyler, the creator. Tyler, the creator? Yes. I fuck. Yeah, he... he I, I respect him because of how he respects you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and him, we didn't see eye to eye. Like, he thinks I don't like him. I don't think he likes me. Whatever, right? But we're grown men. We're black. I'm moving he on. He just do. I can He's speak weird. on I, I don't give a He's fuck. He's weird. Can't Let's nobody block me Let's stop be clear. No He's weird. He's weird. Yeah, he just said He's man. weird. He's weird, Nori, in the eyes of niggas like us. Yeah. You know what okay. I'm saying? I'm sorry, Dan. But I apologize. In, in, in the eyes of everybody that fuck with Tyler Creator, nah, he's, he's a god. A he's a god. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like some shit you gotta accept, my nigga. Mm -hmm. It's like computers and credit cards. Mm -hmm. When credit cards first came out, niggas like, who the fuck gonna be putting money on cards? Mm -hmm. When cards now came niggas out, niggas don't even want to see cards. I actually got a newspaper article where they say, y'all think cars go out through horses? They can't uh, go through woods and this. And guess what niggas did? Created a road. Mm -hmm. Hey, these cars go kill people. They mm -hmm. created stop signs. Then they created signal lights. So ideas get built on. So that nigga idea got built on from no, the shit happening. I in respect the past. everything. I respect so for us, business. we ain't never gonna see eye to eye. Yeah. Ever. Oh, okay. So you know it's good that I don't but see But I knew him eye before eye. I seen all that. Okay. But I accept it because I know who he is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I'm grown enough to say that. I used to be that nigga couldn't be around gay ass niggas all day. Mm -hmm. Just being around, I can say that openly on camera. And they ain't afraid. But I became a grown ass man and I ain't God with a gavel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm a single nigga, why the fuck do I care who gay? That's more pussy for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how you, if you go think like a real nigga. Mm -hmm. So when these people got them living their way and how they want to live and shit, that ain't for you because you ain't living that way. Don't speak on it. Mm -hmm. Now, when these niggas is posed as superheroes bigger than people that's doing other shit, mm -hmm. that's when other people found that's a problem. Mm -hmm. I think that they should stop trying to push shit in the forefront. Just, it's normalized already. Mm. Shit, just know let, let, let folk live their life. Mm. I think we got too much opinion on how people live, bro. We should just be fucking with who we is. That's real. Them, them niggas who live there in that LGBT gay community, man, they looking out for each other. But why are you bringing up the LGBT community? <coughs> I don't know, because Tyler Crater, nigga, that's oh, why he went. I know this situation. I didn't know. All right. Nah. All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know you know, reason, oh, but shit. I ain't hey, trying to I'm, I'm, See, I'm not political. <laughs> I'm, I'm not politically correct, so I can just put it on the table what people will call weird. But this is I ain't know that nigga out there. Man, look here, man. I'm telling you what's in my heart. I don't give a fuck about being politically correct. Uh, does, but I, this is what I hear. Now. Like, you hear it. Uh, uh, but real niggas don't understand that. Right. It's like no, a 6 respect. 9 situation. Whoa. Like, a real nigga ain't fucking with that. But right. a nigga in his shoes, like them game playing computer niggas, man, he was right. A nigga tried to f that damn fuck, a nigga fuck my girl, try to kill me, rob me, steal my money, and I took you out the hood, and you want me to sit in jail for you? Fuck you, boy. I'm out. He was real to his. Who he is. And real yeah. niggas knew you would never have a nigga like that in our crew. So that wasn't real nigga shit. So how you expect real nigga shit at the end of the road? All right, so see, I'm just different, bro. Like, I, I respect facts. You know, that's all I am. I know I wouldn't fuck with him. I wouldn't talk about him. I wouldn't call him a rat. I wouldn't get mine who plays music. If my daughter plays music, that's her. She know the difference between a rat and who ain't one. It's music, bro. I can't hate on good music. The nigga still making good music. But will I play it for? No. Cause I don't stand for that lame right, shit. Right. In my world, that shit lame as fuck. Right. But in the nigga that work a nine to five, that shit real as fuck. Right. You know. Yeah. So hey, it's, it's, it's yin and yang. Certainly. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's what I learned from having literacy. Mm -hmm. It all come from literacy. When you learn shit, you be like, okay, I see that. I know not the fuck niggas like him. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's all. Now you one of the very few dudes that got a a, a, a song with Drake. How does this happen? He does he call you? Who Drake? Yeah. 
Oh, you're a regular nigga to me. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't trying to count. Yeah, yeah, he cool yeah. hell. Like, I don't know. It ain't like, hey, bro. It's like, yo, nigga, what up? Nigga, I need you on the song. Back uh, things like, all right, babe. That's it. Hell yeah. Got that. Make some noise for Locker. Got that. <laughs> but you know, the average nigga can't even get Drake I don't on even want Dra- I, For me to you, like yeah. being a, a hood artist, like, you got to respect niggas like Drake. Yeah. You know why? I do. Because he did what the fuck he already did now. See, I switched to vodka. This is a rock. This yeah, is I feel sorry for you. The man. most refreshing thing on the planet. He's a dope artist. Who, oh, Drake? Yeah, he's dope as fuck. I think, I think he's... Um... You see what Steve Stout said, right? No. That if he goes independent, the music industry will... Will, will yes. bankrupt? Yeah. That's cap. I, 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 I... What does cap mean? Huh? What does cap mean? <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Okay, yeah. all right. He's cool. just going to be rich as fuck. Right. That shit lying. Like, niggas saying that. I don't think the industry fuck. will be... Completely demolished. I'm gonna be honest, if you really think about it, these new artists do not need the label. Bro, these niggas don't got labels. This what? label's putting these memes out on pages and shit. <laughs> the fuck? You think a regular guy is saying that? Drake don't give a fuck. You think he know, right. you think he care about the rapping? He don't want the industry to fall. If he's if he independent, that's it, you know what? See, let me break it down. Let me back up. Okay. You know what that mean to me? Mm. That that's a message telling a nigga that ain't Drake that you have to be on a label. Mm. To become Drake to mm. make the industry lose. Mm. So in other words, the label's still getting credit in that message. Okay. From my perspective, you know I'm what I'm saying? You. If he go independent, he's just gonna be richer. Now, would Drake know how to do everything the label's doing for his career? I mean, I'm gonna tell a nigga that That's wanna be, I, I've been independent my whole career. It's a lot of shit I miss mm. because I ain't have literacy on it. Mm. You need a fucking team to oh. maximize you. Back in the days, we had CD copies. So if a nigga, you know it. Like, if a nigga ain't sending a million copies out on your shit, you ain't going platinum. You ain't going. So if a nigga got them sending right. uh, 50,000 copies Counting out, copies. you got to wait to get copies for a whole nother week. Right. So your first sales only could be 50,000. Nothing over, because that's all they sent out. Wow. All right. But in today's streams, it's shit? different. Yeah. In stream world, your shit got to drop on all platforms at the same time to get the maximum thing. So that means you got to drop on every station in America, all through Europe, all through Spain, all through Africa, all in Eastern Europe, nigga, at the same time to get that maximum hit. Now, if you don't know the people to do that, the right shit, how to do it, when to do it, how to do it, why to do it, fuck out of here, nigga. How you going platinum? You only doing 20,000 copies like everybody doing, 200,000? Like, come on. I but I ain't go like whatever. 1998. I had to go to Europe, London, two months in advance prior to my album dropping. Remember, I was in London. All those those pictures you see with the N O R E shirt. That was me in London. I had to promote two months in advance because they were not able to get the product to UK and America at the same time. So I had to go to UK first. Like that's the, that's the era I come from. So imagine how. Much of a luxury it is to say I could drop a fucking record tomorrow and it's everywhere. God mm. damn it, let's go, let's go win. Let's go win. Salute. Nah, man, shot. Nigga, shot. Nigga, I don't know. Bears, this is a shot. Come on, let's go. Here, have some. I gotta stop drinking that. Yeah, here, have man. some. Mm. I hey, could drink that whole motherfucking bottle. Hustle, hustle. Mm. Unless it's Molly, I don't fuck with anything. What's that? Russian white? Hustle, that's Russian white. Right. That's Russian white. That's his, his shit. Oh, no, I can't drink white liquor. Yeah. Really? Oh, you used to drink white Remy. Yeah, I got you on that one. You used to drink white. See, you used I, to I drink white you. women. White Remy. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> it didn't sound like white woman. <laughs> white Remy. What was that? You you brought that back from France, I believe. Mm-hmm. White Remy. White Remy. I was the first nigga drinking it. Yeah. You know why I stopped fucking with it? Cause you remind me of my best friend. Like, oh. ooh, fucked up on that white Remy. Like, okay. You know, Remy was everything for us. Remy, hypnotic, incredible Hawk. Right. Like, yeah. ooh, the fucked up. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, that Hawk you, was the truth. Hold on, he from that generation. Did you hear yeah, those yeah. three yeah. niggas you just yeah. You was a wild nigga. Yeah. This is what you any nigga that drank those That's three right wild. there, you was definitely wilding out. Right. Yo, what was those three saying again? The guy had the Incredible Hulk. You know, that's already Henny and what's Henny and Then we were dropping, we were dropping Remy in it. Nigga, that Remy? shit was like, the, I swear that shit made me feel like I could pick the pool table up. Wow. That's why I stopped Liquid fucking cocaine. with it. Wow. But it make you want to party. It, it, it's what it is. It's, I fuck with Remy. Remy is right. like, I fuck with Remy. Right. Um, and so... All right, moving on. Hold on. You you, you have something to eat? No, nah, you you're doing something with the clothing line. Okay, yeah. I saw. I don't want to look good up right now, but it's helping the suicide community. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm big well, on not the community. That's. I'm terrible. big on. Nah, I could correct you. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, suicide prevention and mental right. illness. Right. Because like Goose, one of my good friends, not down. Talking about, I know my niggas going through shit. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? Wait, so, say that again? Like, Goose, my nigga, I know bro was going through shit okay. from his past. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know I go through shit from my past. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize, nigga, I was fucked up, bro. Like, mm -hmm. bro, I literally wanted to just hurt niggas. Like, meant to, meant to. Bro, I swear to God, yeah. I'm not even lying. Bro, I should just look at niggas and just be like, nigga, my, my, my nigga struck. I swear to God, I got the hottest record, all this shit. And I can see other niggas with jury and shit just doing it for hoes, drinking lean and shit, smoking, thinking they cool as hell. I just want to beat their ass and take their jury. Right. Like, I was just violent and fuck. To me, that was a mental illness. Right. To just be violent and you got all the happiest shit around you. That's fucked up. And everybody around me was just, we fucked up in our head, bro. Right. We, we, we normalized the most hateful shit. Yes. And we don't even know it. And once people don't like it, we feel like they being fake or they being racist. But, bro, we like animal thinking shit, bro. You know what's crazy, Flocka? Um, I, th I thought about it the other day. Like, I, I was into, like, hurting other people. Like, I think that's corny now. Like, nah, you know, I ain't gonna flat nigga gonna get their ass smacked. <laughs> it's not. Hey, it's not. 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 Nah, I'll just play with y'all. Nah, nah, I just said. Nah, niggas is showing the fuck out of you right now. I swear, bro, I'm telling, a nigga trying to rob me and sue me, bro. Wait, what? What? Why, Nick Cameron? Why, sue you? Why, wait, I've man, never heard of this. shots, bro. And won two million. Oh, yeah, the whole city they got one? Come on, man. I'm wait. not lying. You could Google it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I think Noah's Googling right now. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'll I'm tell not. you where it's at. No, 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 I'm not. I was right, checking, niggas is so on, bro. Message. I know niggas did racist shit like, y'all, oh, you think, like, one white nigga's like, you think you so fucking cool because you got all these white girls around you, bro? Huh? Like, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Like, I, all kind of shit. Like, bro, you'd be surprised, bro. And you twerk these niggas and these niggas want to sue. Like, that shit just be crazy. Wow. You know so I mean, you gonna try to rob us, bro, and sue and lost, though, but you still got to pay 10000 per lawyer? Yes, that's a fact. Bro, all like, bro, I got stuff. hella suits, bro. Fighting in the club, niggas spitting at me, all kind of shit. We get down and beat the shit out of him. He ain't got no street cred in his hood no more. He looks stupid as fuck. People talking to me, too, hey, that's a rapper. You can sue him. Get his label, blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, you paying 30000 40000 lawyer fees just to stop the case. Right. But you still lost a 40 piece. Wow. Now you mad as fuck at this nigga. Now he's an op. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you just be like, there needs to be him. insurance created for that. It is what? insurance yeah, for that. I guess, like for no, for that? Huh? For for lawyer fees? But most with that type but of most shit? insurance companies would not insure nigga mentality, basically. Shit, I got, real nigga I, term. I, I got a When I say nigga case, mentality, I'm normalizing the word. Dude, step to me in the club. Do follow me to the hotel yeah. room. I defended myself, and I got a case. That's a fact. That's a. That's but, a but guess why though? Now right. let me let me see. I just said nigga mentality. That's how everybody think. Nah, nigga, it's literacy. Now if right. I had literacy, if of what I'm doing? That. Check this. I could have just stand my ground. Nah, I could have nah, nah, stood North. on stand my ground. Even well, better. In Florida. I was hey, in Florida. I was right yeah. there. Right there. Oh, I, I could have lose stand my ground. It's even better. When yeah. you got security around, that's insured and licensed. Wow. And they got past security to get to you. That's, that's a difference. It. Yeah, that's when you a big got difference. insurance yeah. on your show, so God forbid if you miss it, break your leg, do anything, oh, you got this. something to insure it. See, that's back to literacy. Mm. If you got all that, then you scrape. Yeah. But nine times ten, we ain't got no literacy. All we know is go pick a back end up because it sounds cool. It does. All right, so that's that. That's crazy. Are we taking another shot? Yo, are we insured? Uh, I don't think you can insure us, bro. I don't think you can insure us. Oh, yeah, no, Mr. Lee oh, said. Yeah, yeah. No, Mr. Lee said Dominican company insured us. Nah, you gotta. Now, <laughs> nah, you, you, yo, yo. No, you gotta insure yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like. Now we fucking around. Nah, we insure, we insure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, y'all niggas better. Mm. I'm gonna make that shit sound normal, bro. Yeah. Cause that's some shit that you should not put under the rug. Wow. That shit that could take nah, your kids priority, to the priority. next. Yeah. Brother, I'm telling you, brother, like, you gonna wanna do some insurances. That's real. Policies that still get my fucking money every year. Right. Policies you can put together when your kid get come out the womb. You create a policy by the time they're 18, they got to check every month. Yep. Right. Whole God life damn. insurance. It's some let's, shit. Let's, let's take another one. Do that. God damn it. I think a walk of yeah, I don't trust you. Yeah, I don't trust you, shit. man. I don't trust well, me yeah. icing your shit. Hey, Cause I'm just in cognac, bro. Come on. Hey, man. Come on, come on, man. Nah, fuck you, bro. You got icing your shit. Come on, man. I need some ice. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, she, she. See, but I'm used to this. No, you're not. I am used to it a little. No, you're not. You're speaking the language. Yes. So... What is like the wildest like tour story you have, like going on tour? Because I I realize there's a lot of like drug addicts who have to come to your shows. Jesus as well. Christmas. Yeah, I know wild nasty shit. Yeah, please. We're into. Like a, 
Well, it's like yeah. it's like the first year, like okay. when I'm getting on the road. On the road. Ecstasy. Okay, ecstasy is involved. <laughs> I am in. Let's go. Yo, this chick. I go on my, I go on my man. Uh, Cause usually when I get a hotel, I just get the whole room. Mm. I'm a young nigga. Niggas just run around butt ass naked through mm. the whole, whole mm. you know how I back and whatever. I can say that freely again. I'm not, excuse me, baby, for even saying shit like that, but I'm not glorifying. I'm just telling you what niggas No, we had a pass from. before. Uh, the circus, well, I'm married too. The circus so once okay. was fun until you got bit by a lion. You know Definitely I mean? never got bit by a lion, but the circus is fine. Let's oh, go. I did. <laughs> but goddamn, I walk in the room, right? He like, when they call, like, yo, boy, I got this. They going up. Uh, uh-huh. Nigga, I'm talking about this like the first year of me rapping. I'm like, nigga, this shit is like, like a movie. Nigga, I come in the room, I'm like, oh, you know how shit go, this shit go, we, uh-huh. we live in this one girl, like, my stomach hurt. Why this whole goddamn go in the bathroom? Just, why? She shitted Why they been shitted with the double? <laughs> oh, I swear to God, this hoe is, excuse me, not, not this hoe. Excuse me, excuse me, this girl. This, this girl. <laughs> Hey, look, hey, that girl got there. Why she on the toilet? Shit, she done threw up on herself. And she bad as hell. I swear to God to you. I, I seen a girl put, but watch this, watch uh, this. But you went in. But watch how savage one of my niggas is. Goddamn, help her get right, throw her in the shower, <laughs> goddamn. Still fucked up. Ain't need fucker, just goddamn closed, it, closed up. Next morning, why? She, she wake up, she sober, she straight. We about to leave, she get on the bus. You like, what the fuck? The like, tour bus? Bad ass baby. Mm. Man, this is baby mama today, man. That's his baby mama. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and they whole haunting his life right oh, now. Oh, god damn. Oh, god damn. Man. He, he, fell, he fell in love with this bitch. I'm talking to her. She was like, she was, you know how you get on a tour bus, she's one of like, man, why is she on the bus type shit? Like, one of those. Like, but she cool as hell, though. She getting all the food for niggas. She makes sure the bus oh, clean. She making food? Oh, okay. She oh, recruit she another girl. Oh, that's like, all. I was like, that's it's all. one of those. Oh, she was like a house mom. House mom. Yeah, she was like a goddamn a tour bus I seen the chick put an ecstasy in her ass. Yo, oh, come on. It hit me in your system. pretty close for that shit, though. I mean, she did, it, she did it in front of all of us. It wasn't like... It was a little you know, nice. Yeah. You ever seen that? It get them high faster. It get them high, high faster. That's what they yeah, said. Yeah. Well, now, do you saw that happen before? Yes, it turned off. Okay, now, we're going to play a game. <laughs> we're going to play a game. Yes, yeah, it's disgusting. Guess what race that is. I, we biting off of the bracket. I've seen club. every race do it. Huh? you seen, every, seen race every race do it? Race do it. I've only seen one race. Bro, to I'm old. One race, one race in it. What race do you think I seen? Huh? What race do you think I seen? Uh, white. What race do you think I seen, New Fix? What race do you think? Y'all three are correct! White people are gonna win! White people are gonna win! Yo, white people, bro. They know the party. They just got control chaos. <laughs> Like, they the most chaotic people I ever met, but they control the fuck out of it. Like, I agree with they you. They make sure the volume is on level 39. Like, I know I, I got a friend. They make sure the neighbors, they don't send letters out to the neighbors. Hey, we about to have a party this weekend. Listen, Waka, I, got a, I got a white friend. He works at rental cars in the daytime, but at nighttime, he sniffs cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> All day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, like, wait, he's controlled. He's controlled, it's okay. And then he goes back to work. It's okay. And he gives you a... St- Yo, when I start doing, getting, traveling, man, I see so past color and race. Yeah. When I, I find out the word white people... First off, you can't be racist because you're from Queens. You know why you from Queens? Because it's all... It's Every everybody. Every fucking yeah. race in Queens is there. Yeah, I yeah, kid you yeah. not. If you're from Queens, that's why Donald Trump is not from Queens, bro. I apologize to you. Or you're from a part of Queens that we don't even know because... Oh, you, you don't fuck with Trump? I mean, listen, listen. Are you the thing is, The thing is this... <laughs> You can't be racist if you're from Queens, bro. You you grew up with every single race. I grew up with a Haitian neighbor. I grew up with a Russian downstairs. I grew up with a fucking Ecuadorian to the corner of me. I grew up to a, with a Jamaican. I got, I, my best friend was Russian. That's what I'm saying. Rican. I grew up with Russians. And a Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. A Russian Puerto Rican? No, a Russian, like a real Russian. Like we used to got down. Like Vladimir. Vladimir. His name's Vladimir. We used to go to war. Bro. We used to In go my to mind, war. His name's Boris. Boris. Like Boris. Uh, he's not Russian, bro. Yeah, he's not, not Russian. Russian. Yeah, Russian. <laughs> yeah, but so are you gonna talk about Trump? Let's be careful now, Walker. Why? Um, <laughs> nah, talk your truth. Oh, nah, no. it's no truth. If anybody that don't support Trump, tell me ten facts why you don't like him. So oh, that means you like him? Huh? I'm not understanding. Did I say I like him? No, no, I'm just asking. I'm nigga, I'm in a gray area. How can I talk on something I don't have full understanding about? How can I believe a TV station that's telling me about him 
And I don't believe nothing else that y'all tell me. Well, are you but I got to have a car, yeah. No, I don't Ooh, fuck come with on, bro. I don't fuck with <laughs> that nigga out here, wow. That, that, that's that, that nigga said. That's it. Yo, hold on, Tom. But, all right. That nigga said. Nah, and yeah, and yeah, and come on, man. Let's just nah. let, give yeah. me a pass. This is not yeah. talk about him. Just give him the pass. Nor- no. Nah, give him the pass. No. Bro. He's going nah, he through it. He said some wild shit, though. He don't get no pass over there. He's going through it. He said some wild Harry Tubman shit. Listen, I want to take the drugs he's taking, Very wild Harry Tubman. He said some wild shit. That shit he said was ill. He said Harry Tubman. I'm like, nigga, how do you know? You ain't even, you a, nigga. What, what you got, text messages? You talking about Harry Tubman. Harry Tubman. The, the, the richest man in the world, Mount Musil, was a black man. Mm. But not a black man, because mm. black was a term that they used to mm. lock niggas in and white. Mm. But he had three million white slaves. Oh, you Ooh. know what I'm saying? And he yeah. had black slaves. Who Kanye? You got slaves? Mount Musa. Oh, shit. The richest okay. black man in the world. Right, wait, just Motherfucker, that. people don't talk about. <laughs> it's like Kanye got slaves making them Yeezys up back there. Shit, know. you got companies out here selling clothes for $1,000 and people getting $0.10 cents a, a hour, but I ain't say that. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, man, no bro. Yeah. You got niggas out here saying they Muslim with a cross on their neck. Mm. <laughs> you, got, you got people that saying they Jewish but charging interest to people that you know can't pay it. Mm. But in the Jew- You know what I'm saying? You got... Black niggas that say black power, but they'll shoot a op. So for a nigga like me, I just look at it all and just be like, shit, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to follow love. I'm going to be lame and lame. I'm going to follow love. I'm, I'm dead ass serious, but that would change. You know what I'm saying? Because Gemini niggas, we jump everywhere. But for a nigga like me, I just move in love, bro. So I know, bro, if I get popped today and go anywhere, I know I'm going to heaven. I know for a fact I'm not going to hell. I ain't do nothing hell bound ever. I don't lie to niggas. I ain't capping. I, ain't, I don't have to lie to get money. I don't give a fuck That's what you're making, bro. Because if, if I if I'm in your pocket, nigga, I'm ready to rob you. Right. So anybody in your pocket want to know what you're making, you right. better believe they'll rob you. Mm. So I don't want you thinking like that because I, I was with all that shit and I grew up around it. So I just do shit out of love. You know what I mean? Niggas try me and say shit every day that I hate sometimes. And you mean them all, hey, guy with your friend, why you playing football? Who, you play football? Wow. That's disrespectful. It's fuck, nigga. I'm a big black guy, so I like I play sports. Oh, you talking about your neighbors? <laughs> <laughs> Now, my neighbors is beautiful. It's crazy. I got my one of my neighbors, my friend. Right. Like she, eighty old, eighty old woman from Switzerland. Like she cool as fuck. Her husband just died on her birthday. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like her husband's a German man, Mr. Jimmy. Cool so when as you, fuck. When you board first class, do the people ask you that? Do you play football? Yeah, yeah. Some people. I love fucking class. I would yeah. never fly private. You know what I um, ever when the people ask me that, they're waste, like, Yo, waste the money and a waste of do time. Do you play sports? I'd be like, no, I sell drugs. That's what I do. I said I sell cocaine. The minute um, uh, they, they judge me, well, I, I lived in this apartment's galaxy, the galaxy uh, in, in Jersey, and um, one day um, I had pulled up with my Lexus, and I pulled up in my, uh, uh, it was like the 90s, my Lexus and my, and my Benz. And a white guy says to me, Yo, so what do you do? Why do you have these two cars? I was like, I said, oh, crap. And he called the police on me. Oh, ah. shit. <laughs> yeah, and the police came, but they were black dudes. So they knew exactly who I was. I was like, I'm like, what the fuck with you? I said, I had to, he wanted, that's what he wanted to hear. And from then on out, I knew that that pissed people off. So whenever like a person would see me and see like a, any type of luxury, I would always say, I sell cocaine. Yeah, I sell crack. You, 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 I'm, I transfer it from coke to crack. And I'll, I'll start saying some shit like they be looking at me like, what is his problem? And they're like, but now, yeah. now I kill nigga. They be like, hey, what do you do? I'll be like, oh, I, I do residential and commercial. I have a couple of companies. Like, what do you do? You know what Instantly. I have to say? You know like, what hey, I'm blah, blah, blah. And you know what I said sometimes? I'll be like, yo, I, I invented the camera on the back of this. Oh my god, this nigga. <laughs> just, I love yeah, fucking yeah, with you. Yeah, just don't fuck with them. And be like, you know, that, that's called the, the, the um, Quinterio syndrome. Right there. Ah, and they believe it. They I, invented, I invented that. And like, shit. And then they, they be looking like for real. And then people will come by. I'm like, what's up, Nora? I'm like, what's up? And they're like, oh, they know you. I'm like, yeah, nigga, I invented this. <laughs> I'm that nigga. They know. Uh, it's, 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 so some other area shit. I'm sorry. Let's just, just everybody, let's just get some fucking hands. Some hands. Are you good? You don't fuck with hands? He's like, he, he's like, I don't know. <laughs> I watched y'all put that on twice, though, right? Yeah, I, I don't even After know. After two times, it don't work. It don't work? You gotta wash it off your hands. Wait what? a minute. What? Yeah, what? It's killing what? certain layers in your skin that protect you from viruses and diseases. I wouldn't tell you well, the accurate times. I wouldn't tell you the accurate names because you should look it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it's like us, bro. We're, I'm just we're dead. Oh, that's <laughs> conscious. Is that taking that's for being another conscious. shot? Yes, we should take another shot to kill ourselves. All right. That's like diabetics drinking alcohol. 
Oh yeah, that's what we, we that's, both have. That's diabetes. cliche because no, the, I don't have diabetes <laughs> full of sugar. I don't. I don't have high cholesterol either. Like yeah, I don't know. I don't. Oh, maybe. I don't. I don't. On the weekends, I don't. I don't. Let's listen. Let's listen. 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 Yeah. Okay, that big shit ain't it. But that yeah, stomach, that, ain't it. that yeah. stomach, yeah, I got back. I'm, I'm working on it, bro. I'm working ain't on it. Ain't gas like, and shit. Yeah. Gas that's and all shit. The, that's all the stomach is a colon clean, man. Holy, mo- I gotta get my colon clean. Oh yeah, you probably. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a different subject. Bro. That's a different subject. <laughs> <laughs> you ever got your colon clean? Nope. That's probably being vegan you, though. You ever got your colon clean? That's the first thing the, they the did, made me do. Shit. The saltwater yeah. shit is the the bomb. Wait, saltwater vegan? Oh, saltwater cleanse. What is that? What? That's a reverse colon cleanse. I don't understand what you're talking yeah. about. I just put herbs. I, I fuck with I fuck with anything that don't have like a backlash. So I use nothing but plant based colon cleanse. And you can't. So what that mean? Like you drink some yeah, shit yeah, yeah. and then pew, pew. Yeah, I got a doctor, bro. She got some water. shit called stool cleaner. It's gonna make you it's gonna, it's gonna like make it. you shit pew, pew. McDonald's that you ate when you was a teenager. They got at a tea. Eight years the old. tea's called Smooth Move. Just take it. It's really I, good. I, I drink Smooth Move all the time. I got some shit that make you get no. up off the table. No, but do the salt water but, shit. What is the salt water? I don't understand. Right, listen, guys, okay. relax, buddy. Please break it down. So the the ant, what's the uh, like what's regular salt? The regular salt has a uh, iodine, right? Yeah, right. So this the, you get salt that doesn't have iodine. So it means the that pink or the black salt. I, I can't tell you. Just not iodine. So what happens is it's not gonna absorb in your system, so it's gonna just go right through your body. Mm. So you do a, a whole gallon of warm water. With iodine salt, un-iodine salt, and it just goes right through you. Like, what are you doing? You take a shower. It is a reverse um, colonic. You what? You know, most of us, most of us got a salt, a salt yeah, deficiency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking piss most out of us your be ass. Nah, but you know they be putting that thing in your jo- your joint. I'm mm-hmm. just telling you, that's the way to not do that. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is and what's it called? A uh, salt water cleanse. Salt water cleanse. I, I like doing stool cleaner. Stool cleaner? Yeah, it got beets, wheatgrass, all kind of shit in it. Oh, all right. So how do we get the stool cleaner? I just hook it up with Dr. Camilla. You know? Dr. Camilla? Yeah. Let's make some noise for Dr. Camilla. <laughs> she out of Atlanta? Huh? She in Atlanta? Oh, she, she in America. She in America? Yeah. All right, cool. She likes Dr. Sabi, so you got to keep her low? Nah, she's just in America. You, you fuck with Dr. Sabi? Yeah, he was a goat. He's a yeah. goat. You fuck with his, um, you know, his grandchildren is running his shit right now. I know, I know a couple of them. Yeah, they, 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 they out there in Georgia. In Atlanta, L.A. Yeah, 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 yeah. They out there. Good people. I fuck they with them. Big, big, big up the CMOS gang, God damn it. Are we going to do another shot? Is that the it? CMOS gang. CMOS gang. You fuck with CMOS? What? Bro? That shit is fire. That shit is fire, oh, ain't guy. it? You know, I don't know. Uh, 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 huh? New face, you want, you want a shot? I see it in you. Come on, come on, come on. You want a shot? You want a shot? Come on, come over here. Come on, over here. Oh, you came all the way to Miami, Florida. Yeah. You have to have a shot. Yeah. This is the hip hop horror. Can you give him a cup? Can you give him a cup? Give, give him a seat, man. Give him a seat. We don't want him to drink out of a. Yeah, give him a seat, man. Give him a seat. Give him a seat. Give him a seat. Give him a seat. Yo. Yo. Well, you know, man. this is a hip hop historian right here. No, this guy is, this guy is a legend right here. Man. I thought EFM was bad for having a yeah, tennis ball yeah, from 88. Yeah, I was about to say, I seen him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect seat. You know the facts. Yeah. yeah. I give him a cup of gun in the can. Okay. Thanks for your help, Sonny. Yeah, word. <laughs> really, really, you've been really helpful today. What you what you about to pull out? You got some you got some merchandise? I know I'll be seeing you on 85 South show. Oh dang, that's family right there. Yeah, man. I did bring some. Oh let's 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 just show walking. Who's facing the truth, man? Mm-hmm. And I seen his name on the cover, so I Wanted to see one you remember. Ooh. Yeah, four mics, Walker. That was a. Damn, Ooh. Source gave me four mics. Ooh. Yeah, That's a Source just magazine? Had the last, uh, guess. Wow. He was on the cover, but it was a little double XL, but we got. Tiny one. Look at that. This is Young Crit in there, but we also got. Young, yo, Crit, bro, Look is literally, of my generation, the most That's underrated rapper. Crit is and one of the most lyrical motherfuckers. And I'm going to tell you, bro. Yo, if I had to pick wow. one artist. Look at Young Flock, look. If I had to pick one artist to go against any artist. Mm. Crit. Yo, there's not one All nigga time. in hip hop today. Right. That I could think about with yeah. Young. Wow. That could out rap Big Crit. Wow. That's with substance, album. title, understanding, a complete body of an album. Mm. Crit is Rich. the illest. Crit. Yo, he, yeah, yo, if I ever, yo, if God asked me how do you want to rap, I'd be like, yo, let me rap like Big Crit. Mm-hmm. 
or put some entertainment, how I not entertain with it? Mm. Let's take a shot, bro. Crit that nigga, bro. Goddamn. Make some noise for that, goddamn. <laughs> big Crit. <laughs> Time for drink chat, Big Crit. Let's go. Mm. Bro, I'm taking that. He one of the most powerful young you know, niggas, bro. Ah. Oh! Right after the control verse. Bro, that nigga Crit, bro, is right. like a, a southern version of Nas. Right. He's literally a southern I gotta version get, of I, Nas. I, 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 I'm, I'm on Big Crit, but I, I got to get it. I always want yeah. 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 Big Crit and Nas to do music. Yeah. Wow. Yo, Crit and Nas? I see Nas and Lupe in the studio. Mm. Nigga, Crazy. Crit and Nas, man. Yeah. Man, Crit is... By the way, let's pick up to Racket Bar in Winwood. Yeah, my boy Angel like for holding us down real quick. You know, that's, a, that's our brother. During, I'm sorry. during quarantine time. During that's quarantine real. time. So we here. We here right now. So uh, what is your dream collab my dream collaboration, like with artists? Anybody, yeah. Artist, uh, producer. I ain't got none. You ain't got none? Come on, Waka, we need, we need a list. Waka don't care I, right now. Like, I, bro, I really wanted some money. Like, oh, you talking about not me? <laughs> yeah, not you. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, hell like, yeah. yeah. Dr. Dre. Oh, no, no, no. I, I would like to see, um, who can I say, man? I would like to see a, like a DMX, mm. Tupac, and Lil John record for the club. Um, okay, hold on. Man, Lil John too. Let, let me. Now, Lil John is creating the beat, or is, what is what is Lil John? He, he, just he, saying, he, what? he, doing, he doing the ad libs. He's he just saying he, he on the bridge. He on the bridge of the hooks. He on the bridge uh, of the ad libs. Okay, uh. Picture this: Tupac, DMX. You said. Yeah. That's hard. Okay. Yeah. That's hard. I would love that. And he like the hook. Uh. And he got DMX and Pop. I can see that. I can see that. That'd be nasty. Uh, I could say for a lyrical rec record, I want to see Big L. Woo! That's one of my favorite rappers. Right. Andre 3000. Another favorite rapper. Come on, give me the third one. And... Mr. Lee is not my favorite rapper. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Mr. Lee's nobody's favorite rapper. Hmm. I put Nas. Andre 3000 who? Nas and who else? What was that three? You don't know the third? Big L. He said Big, Big L. Andre 3000. And Nas. That's crazy. Nah, that's L. That's an L record. But you do know you're a lyrical artist though, right? Shit, I don't so I've seen you downplay yourself. You said that. You oh yeah, it. it's, it, it's reverse psychology. Mm. I get that. Yeah. I can't. It's like, I, <laughs> I, I, I can't rap. Volume this, that, and the third. Really spelled, I can rap. Like, it's like a... It's just different, my nigga. Like, if you can see it, you know it. If you don't, you yeah. like everybody else. Right. I think that's another shot. Goddamn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Jesus Christmas. I'm sorry, man. You're going to get back. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Everybody wants Columbia White, right? <laughs> everybody wants Columbia White, right? I'm not going to lie. I'm skipping. Skipping. <laughs> skipping that Columbia White. Who else wants Columbia White? Listen. Listen. Here's the thing about the oh, Columbia White. I'm going to call you after the interview. Here's the thing hey, about hey, the Columbia White. Hey, shit. Columbia. You're playing music in my headphones. Here's the thing about Columbia White. He doesn't even try to put like any type of chill on it. He just, he just wanted it hot. Like, yeah, like, this is crazy. I'm gonna call you after this. I'm gonna call you after this. Hey, I, want, I called you about that reconstruction and recreation alone, but that, that theme part too, I need you to do that. Really what is that in the chain? All right. St. Louis. St. Louis is mine. It's That's my artist chain, LA Fours. Oh, okay. He locked up. He about to get out. Wow. So I got his jury. You know, that's that's my that's that's my art. That's like my little brother. Right. He like the Prince of Brick Squad. Right. My young nigga, I watched him make 50 records in five days. Wow. Cheers. Content. Cheers. Content. Cheers. Like he wow. the illest. Wow. He the illest. Oh, you're going there? Walk up. Okay. Yeah, right. I, I, gotta, I yeah. didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't know. See, I go lock. The more Walker drinks. The more you get his, his conscious, accent, bro. His accent. Oh yeah, the New York is, shit come out. Is, is, his accent, but his more like he Yo, got both. Boy, he got both the New York and the, the South, and it's like I can see both of them. Like that's 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 a, that's a crazy combination. Uh, All right, like, like one of my one of my young niggas, Lou Dean. I appreciate that. Lou Dean, he called himself the local shooter. He from uh, New Orleans. Wow. He from Saint Bernard oh, Projects, my God. and he's literally. I don't like I, it. I'm talking about, I don't think, I could, he like old Dirty Bastard, a brick squad. You ever met old Dirty Bastard in mm -hmm. real life? Uh, I got to see him. He was a wild brother. Yeah, no, this nigga is wild. I never in my life seen somebody that's old actually dirty bastard. Really, no, 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 no,
yeah. it's to the point where it's like it's like yo bro stop right. like I actually stop see my it. young nigga get in a, a corner and cry because he couldn't kill somebody because wow. they disrespected wow. to him wow. like I, I kind of like showed him the right way like yo bro right. stop it I got nigga I actually love you nigga like you a good nigga he's a I turned a shooter into a rapper Oh. And I showed him like the dynamics of life by not teaching him, just just putting him around it. Mm. And in his face though, nigga, and I'm drilling his brain mm. to him right now, buying his own crib, move all his kids That's in. Dope. He just bought a a, a a big ass fucking and warehouse. The one I was locked up? That's the one I just FaceTimed. Lou oh, D, oh, local oh, okay. shooter. He just bought a big ass warehouse that he put a hookah lounge, four studios in. Wow. This is a, a young Walker nigga making that niggas rich. God damn it. Go ahead, Walker. Go ahead, Walker. Oh. Oh. The admin. The atmosphere. It didn't work. You're not good at that, bro. I've never been. I've never <laughs> you been. know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the atmosphere, Nori. <laughs> that proved to me, my nigga, if you if you just get people around the atmosphere and the ideas, bro, and they gonna be who you're gonna Easy. be regardless. It's not your yeah. job to tell him who to be. Right. It's your job to put him in an at atmosphere that could get him to Set be him the best him. Yeah. Or that right. nigga is, he like, he like, shit, I ain't even mad, bitch. What I'm mad for, I'm making 25000 a month. Right. Bitch, I'm straight. Like, that's right. how he talking. It's weird. It's like, this is a straight. And he's making enough show money? My, nigga, my young nigga walked to this door right now, and I ain't trying to act like nobody pussy. Right. I would look at him like, who is this nigga? Right. He is in his face, nor he like right. this on you. Right. And his voice like, yeah, bitch. What's that? <laughs> and he from New Orleans? Man, saying? what? The yeah. one, one of the realest. Right. He's so real. When I went to New Orleans, I'm like, boy, you got to pull out here. My young nigga pulled me to the side. He's like, bitch, nobody run New Orleans. Uh. Like, bitch, I just run my, my shit. He said, when I leave my shit, I'm just like you. Right. Nobody run this motherfucker. The fact that he ain't never lie, he kept it That's trill all. the so, whole way. I'm like, shit, I can't do nothing but take you in. Any nigga like a chef, a painter, he uh, fire as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, but some niggas in the street got so many talents, we afraid to bring them out because it ain't gangster. They don't represent the neighborhood gangster. Like, but if a nigga knew you could make 40000 a week off that shit, hey, the whole neighborhood will be rocking with you. All right, so fact, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. We all have aprons on, nigga. Right. So I'm, I'm just saying, like, you got to just motivate people with atmosphere. Because right. I don't think nobody ever did that for us. Mm. Like, it's funny you use, like, uh, Leo Korn, for instance. Right. Like, he went to Park Ave. Mm. How cliche is it that he signed an artist and don't tell him how he got on Park Ave to tell you how to go next door to him? Mm. He, I'm not calling him a wrong person for it, but I'm just saying. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it, it's like... The atmosphere, my nigga, like put me around and shit that can make me better, make me incredible. That's hell. Yeah. Now Ferrari boys. Let me get that light. Okay, okay, hell yeah. Ferrari boys. What's up with what's up with that? Oh, Ferrari boys? Yeah. What, what, what was the Ferrari boys? Uh CD Goose just threw together. Oh shit, I thought that he was. He didn't want to really do it. Oh, I thought that was like y'all crew. Well. <laughs> oh shit. Man, oh, Goose. My. Goose always, man, I remember that nigga told me, like, man, I, I like you better as a goon, man. Mm. <laughs> like, what? what the fuck? I ain't telling nigga. <laughs> but I ain't, I ain't thinking like that. I just felt like Goose felt like he was losing his best friend. Oh, was, you know what I'm saying? So he did an album with me, like, not, not, because he really, he couldn't feel like how famous I was. Mm. He couldn't even understand it, because he ain't know me being that. Right. So he just did an album, because I was, like, hot. At the time, I was hotter than him. Wow. Like, nigga, it took you to get on my shit to get back up. But wow. I was supposed to do that. I didn't give a fuck that Goose didn't really. He, I could tell he wasn't into it. He was wow. just doing any kind of verse. Like, he was just getting a check from the label. Mm. But me knowing my world, I'm like, bro, this shit finna help you, bro. But I'm so real as a nigga, like, bro, I don't give a fuck with whatever you're doing, bro. I'm gonna make sure the verse is whatever, you know what I'm saying? But that shit was hard. He still gave his all, like, every verse, you know what I'm saying? But I could tell he ain't. That shit big as fuck, bro. I went on tour off that shit. That shit happened in 2012. I could still go do shows with that shit right now. Wow. And he don't play not one record off his. Off that in his set. But he not knowing it's a millions of people that know every record. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So wow. it's just different shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, cause I just, the reason why I bring that up is I just seen Lil Wayne and uh, Baby chop it up. And Baby said to Lil Wayne, you know, I'm done rapping. But my one project that I would like to do before I'm finished is I want to do a father and son project. So is that something that you and Gucci could get on the same level too to do a Ferrari boys before because I, I, I'm yeah 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 no nah, no nah, let me tell you something bro I'm not opposed to doing nothing right. but whoever's talking back there they gotta stop I'm, yo Ross whoever's talking back there tell them to relax like I'm not a, I'm not opposed to nothing right but right. nigga I want to maximize Gucci like nigga I know how to maximize bro right to the point where bro bro fuck doing the CD nigga right. this CD need to land a tour it need to land a merch. It need to land to a movie. It need to land to a book. 
And if we ain't got all that in the deal with the album, what the fuck am I doing the album for? Right. I could right. do that with my artists right. and make the same amount of money. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I stopped rapping. It ain't like rap told me to stop. Like, right. I seen I was making more money not just being on the road. I can make triple the amount. And EDM too, like. Hey, that was shit was on funny. EDM early. Man, that shit. I was on Reggae Don't you was on EDM. It was EDM too, bro. No, I took ecstasy. Of course, I was saying EDM. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just it goes together. Up space ecstasy EDM. There you go. Oh, that's I it. love EDM though. Yeah. EDM. Hey, helped. That was I took, I, I was it like, ecstasy that broke you there? Nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. You know what it, it took was me for me. All right. EDM. <laughs> EDM showed me how to really. It took like nineteen leaks so far. It teach. It taught me how to rap. EDM. You know why? Because the beat, I couldn't talk about swag and nothing. I had to have real content. So I started learning how to rap so That's better. I got, I, got so, I got so much better That's to the good. point where I started rapping on 808s. I ain't even like 808s no more. And I'm with Southside and Lex and everybody. Yeah, I knew Metro, it, all these niggas, Mike Will, everybody. Like these real brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I can't. Even, I don't even feel comfortable rapping on that shit. God done did 40 CDs on it. Before it was cool. Before y'all niggas even liked these beats. What, EDM? Yeah, I had to go to EDM because it had most sounds and it just was nobody was there. This is this is this is the classic EDM. Out there with Wu Kid, right? You know, the DJ, the DJ. I actually, you know, you know something before Wu Kid. Like, oh, I was I'm in, saying, I, I, I was I'm always high years. in the EDM party. I got Wu Kid into EDM with me because I felt like he was a legend that needed to be rebranded. Wu Kid, yeah. yeah, he deserved so, to be rebranded. Wu Kid is. Uh, White Haitian, like for lack of a better. That's my nigga, bro. He's Haitian, but he's really bro. That's my nigga. who kid. That nigga plays. One volleyball. thing about who kid though, who kid is black, but white. but white. <laughs> yes, but white. You understand what I'm saying? And he's That's the my best brother. medium, coolest guy, and who kid just he get it. Yes, you know what I'm saying? He not rock a crowd, nigga. Like that's my brother. And, and, I, he, and he eats ribs too. Let's be yeah. clear. My, oh my, he, nah, he man, my boy eating everything. Yeah, he eats pork. But goddamn, he just, it was just cool, nigga. I had a cool kid on tour with me, and he was in my Uncle Wise room. And I walked in the room, and who kids is sitting there eating ribs. I say, my uncle's name is Uncle Wise. <laughs> <laughs> Did anything not register to you? That like, this is this is a five percenter. You got to take the ribs out of the room. <laughs> Yo, I, I actually, I actually gonna say this. I never said this. I was just a fan. A who kid? Oh yeah. That's, hard. That's why I made him a DJ. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? I actually was a fan of G Unit. Like wanted to be G Unit. I hey, wanted so I to be Dipset. I wanted something. to be with Nori. When Nori had, I, I pulled oh, Hot 97 poking niggas. In case, in case niggas. you I'm didn't like, know that, like, who kid was on tour with me first? I mean, just, 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 just for the right, facts. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not but, trying to Nora, say anything. Nora, I'm just, just what, for the facts. What about the mixtape y'all made? Who kid? That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, like, I know it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got to hear the fresh drops. Okay, that's old school. He got that playback machine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. Let me tell you something. Who kid is one of the greatest... Souls in hip hop. He has a pure soul. That's he why knows I hang out everybody. with everybody. That's why I hang out with Sonny. Sonny, this nigga knows they have everybody. Pure souls. Like they don't actually see evil because they they actually just is is just pure. And I love I love so who kids in case you don't know that I love you brother man you're a great guy you're a great guy. And I, I, he got I some funny seeing, big pun stories. Oh no I got I listen that I got, nigga who killed somehow big pun kidnapped him no, put him in the trunk. That's a fact. I don't know if I helped. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but when I was told, I didn't you know. You said he leaked did. one of his records? Of no, no, no. He leaked uh, like seven. seven of them. Like, <laughs> you don't understand. Like, all right, I'm so sorry, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. DJ Absolute did the same shit to me. So back in the days, what happened was mixtapes was real albums. That was the album. That was like an album. That was an introduction so, to the world. What happened was, I'm going to say it, who kid, I'm sorry. He did the same thing that DJ Absolute did to me. Absolute put about 12 of the War Report records on his CD. That was a fire CD. Which was 20, he only had like 20 records. Now, these numbers might be off, Locker. So, the, uh, all, all to the world. Drunk facts. But he put damn near half of my album on his fucking tape. And... Who kid did the same thing to pun? So the thing is, why the fuck would people buy my album if I could get the Who kid tape? If I could get the absolute tape? So pun was a little devious. But he did. He, he booked Who kid. Yeah, he booked <laughs> like that he nigga booked and kidnapped him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yo. I did not do that. I did not do that. <laughs> yeah, he nigga, actually, Who kid got yeah. pictures and stories with Gaddafi. 
But who kid is ill, my nigga? Yeah. Michael Jackson, Libya Sylvester Gaddafi. Stallone. He got know. Donald Trump interviews. Macho yeah. Man Randy Savage. Ooh. Like this nigga is an ill person, and I'm a nigga that pay attention to to, to talent. And you could just you know look at him and say he ate a lot of white bitches pussy. Like he's <laughs> who kid does look just, like you that just got that face. Like you eat like white guy. pussy. I'm just being honest. Like it's not that it's great. It's great. You just he'll, gotta, he'll probably tell you. He put a little sasson on it. No goya. <laughs> no, we're not representing Goya no more. We are not representing Goya no more. What happened to Goya? He's he's fucking with. No way, Goya. They, they no supported way. Trump. Yeah. 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 So anybody that support Trump is is basically exiled. I don't know right so, now. Let I'm me tell that. you something. I'm gonna okay. tell you something, right? Okay. If I ever see a crowd of people, like if I'm, it's an eight of us, right, and everybody following the first guy, mm-hmm. and we walk across the ocean, I'd rather be the last person. I respect that. That's the best decision. Because mm-hmm. I can see where the sharks at, where the deep spots, who drowned, who got Who dying. Beat, who dying. So it's like Trump. Like everybody's so against the Trump, but y'all going to Joe Biden? A no, white I'm guy that said, Joe Biden hold on, hold on. Joe white guy that said, you ain't black if you ain't vote for me. What yeah. the fuck? No, Joe Biden didn't ask Man, you don't too. get your, your goddamn. I almost was on the Kanye train until he said, don't want to Harriet Tubman shit. But, I let your nigga, you a fucking idiot. Yo. But, I was supporting you two seconds ago. But listen. But Trump, let's get on him, bro. Like, we got to stay on him. Let's stay on him. You know what I'm saying? But that's a topic that niggas don't talk with facts. We talk with assumptions. I just, I think he's racist. The only thing fucked up with this nigga, bro, and I can't stand with him, like, you can't. And it makes everything else fucked up. That he racist? Is that he don't know how to talk. That's the main problem. All right. Nah, but he defended the Confederate flag. No, you're absolutely right. But let's talk about this. This He don't know how to fucking talk. Watch this. I watched this man get on TV and say, hey, man, they got the vaccine to HIV. I ain't hear nobody say that nigga say nothing else about it. That man actually said, hey man, they got a vaccine for HIV. But if you don't can't believe what he's saying, you can't believe that. All right, but listen, but we could believe the people that empower everybody else that has suppressed us. But we ain't gonna listen to the nigga that's going against the oppressors. I'm just saying. No, no, I, I agree I'm, with you. I, I agree with you. We, I say, I say it's not about Trump. No, nah, it's never about Trump. Well, look, listen, why not? Find out I just love his hotels. I haven't been there since. Why the fuck we play spades and say we got Trumps? Why the fuck back in the day we wanted Trump money? I'm just saying, bro. Like, you know what? You're absolutely right. You know because you know what? That's one of the things I asked people was like, you know, he hung out with Russell Before Simmons. Before I say fuck he you, hung- I need to know your ways. Yeah, you, you he right, hung out with Snoop right. Dogg. He hung out with Puff Daddy. He hung out with these guys. So I asked these guys, like, yo, how was he back then? And back then he wasn't up. That's what makes him a foul guy. Now let me explain. Because... The fact is, if you hung out with Puff Dad, you can't be no nigga hater. If you hang out with uh, 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 Snoop Dogg, you can't be no black person hater. If you hung out with, uh, who's the other person I said? Russell. Russell Simmons. You can't be a person that hates black people. So that, that's what makes him bad to me, is because he's actually playing a role because he knows his voters yes. are racist. Are racist. Right. And that's what makes him bad to me. Because like, if he's 100% from Queens, there's no way in a fact, Waka, you could ever be racist if you're from Queens. I kid you not. No, no, no. There's I'm not, no you, way, you're bro. Right, you're right. Every Racist, and I, I grew up with everywhere. I have jokes about every fucking race. I'm sorry. This shit, I don't care. What, like, I hung out with black people, I hung out with Spanish people, and they had the same jokes opposite. What is the same fucking jokes? We, you cannot be racist if you're from Queens. White people live in your building. You know what, though? He's, black people live in your building. He, in he, Queens. He, he's the best. That's CEO. why I say, yeah, okay. As far as, money, back, though, as far as money, though, as far as money, he is not the best CEO. You got like fucked up if you say that because you no, don't know what he did. No, as far I, as I, I, I do know what he all did. All of my broke friends right. are all he right done, He done all done bankruptcies a million times over. He, he done right. lost his, his Can I ask you a question? I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Bankruptcy is a bad thing? I mean, if you have a, if you're building businesses you and you keep it's not. losing them, I, I, I don't want you to run the country. I don't care if you're your own CEO. Hey, hey, my man. Right. Like I said, man. Right. Arguments is as far as knowledge. Absolutely. Right. That's all I can say to you. Mm. But I'm going to tell you this, my boy. Mm. Shouty is the best CEO. America is a corporation. That's why he's the president. Right. But I shut the fuck up, though. No, 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 no. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I went too no, far no. up the ladder, though. No, no, this is uh, a we need to hear that. We need to hear that. Huh? So this you're is... a Democrat. No. I, fuck, I, was, like, I was a part of the, the birthday party for a second. Hold on. All right. And I, I just hey, hey, withdrew hey, my withdrawal. Hey, hey, this is a flock of check. Okay. Who created the KKK and why? Democrats. Why? Get out of here. They were the that. most racist party. But why? 
I don't know. Tell I don't know either. They was going against the Irish before black, so they wasn't for black people. But the Democrats... They was going against the IRS, you said? Irish. Irish. But, Irish. but hey, man, I'm up the ladder, so I can see shit different. But I'm just saying, no, you, you, you automatically assume that I was Democrat. I, I'm not. I asked. He said neither one. No, I, I, I'm, I'm neither one neither. So I'm, why are we talking politics? I don't know. We like to fuck because around. Because we talking shit. Because we idiots. Because we talking shit. This is Yo. drink chat. This is drink chat. No, no. Listen, hey, are you a Democrat? But we should talk politics. Huh? Because we I, should. Because I, niggas like us should talk politics. That's we should right. talk so politics. We should talk politics like this. And we should Me be personally, I told Killer Mike and T.I., all right, let me just. Some nigga trick. I ain't going for no Joe Biden. They tweaking. Let, let, let me just tell you something. They tweaking. I'm going to say that on This is what I told T.I. This is what I told T.I. They T. tweaking. I'm going to say that God, God bless you. I don't want to seem like I'm talking about T.I. two weeks in a row. But when he called me and he's like, yo, yeah, I just wanted to. I, I, why I can't stand up to the bully? And I said, it's not about that right 50 now. 50 cents. For the record, hold on, man. Uh-huh. Man, oh, I respect the tip. Mm. T.I. and 50. How the fuck is another grown man a bully? Mm. Nigga, who you bullying? Right. Mm. I don't look at 50 as no bully. Right, right. Me neither. Why that's some old crap? I so wish the so, fuck so I was told him, So this is what I told what Tip. I said, yo, Tip, I was there when the mayor called you. Like, I was I was there in Atlanta. I was there. You were there. I pulled up to bank head seafood. I wanted to, to and and I had no idea. Because I, I was like, yo, the only place open in America is Atlanta right now. So you know what I did? I went to Orlando. That's what I call it. I don't call it Atlanta. I call it Orlando. Wakanda and Atlanta together. So Orlando. I went and I drove through. Listen, we drove through Rice. This is the only first time that you know Diego. We drove through Rice. It's a fact. Diego, Diego is the first time, you know, usually we let Diego drive because he's white. And it's like, this is the first time, like, not out here, brother. Get in the back, brother. You get a little scared out here. I went there and I got to see the mayor called T.I. and Killer Mike in front of me. And it was the most amazing thing to me because you know why it was amazing to me? Because we looking now you for fuck with Martin Keisha. and Mal- Malcolm to be in a suit and tie. And what we're not realizing is that those is the new Martin and Malcolm right fucking there. T.I. and Killer Mike. It's funny that you say Malcolm Martin, right? Everybody think Ma- Martin uh, Martin Luther King was in was the spearhead of the civil rights movement, but he was literally like the one yeah. percent after the ninety nine percent of people that yeah. already put it together. Wow. So that it goes again, man. It's literacy, and I'm gonna keep saying this shit because just have literacy. Right. I can talk Nick Cannon. I, I know these niggas afraid to do it. I hope y'all don't even got a comment. No, wait, no, no. Wait, wait, but you Nick see what I'm saying? Nick Cannon's a friend of ours. All right, that's my nigga. Wait, 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 so you, you, you can't talk so big without talking direct. Yeah. Like, you got to talk directly to the problems. And that's the what you pro- feel about Nick Cannon? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and for a nigga like that, like, you should never apologize for your truth. No, yeah, absolutely. I, now, I if you don't think I'm true, let's just sit at a table and tell me I'm wrong and we'll shake like men and be like, I understand. Mm. That's what the word is. Sensitive, bro. If we're going to be sensitive about one topic, let's be sensitive about cops killing black people. Mm. Let's ban them niggas then. You want right. to ban my nigga and boot him? Let's boot everybody See being wrong. See the shit where the cop killed the kid? Uh, no, he didn't kill him. But he hit him with a, a, a beanbag or in front of his oh, uh, children? Yeah. yeah but his... again, but again, if you know literacy, you under a law of people that enforce certain people. And now you're under that law, so you're that property, so you abide by those laws, so they could. All right. Crazy. You know what I'm saying, bro? If you're going to dig, you're going to see. You're going to clown, you're going to see, bro. That's all I can tell a nigga. Like, but, bro, I know it, bro. It's out here, bro. Like, it's in your face. 100%. Like, you, niggas be arguing about the wrong problem. Like, some shit don't even need a group of people in awareness. It's if you have knowledge of risk, what's really going on. And make everybody knowledgeable to attack the problem and vote on it. It's done. It can be done as quiet as a mouse walking in the crack of your wall. You walls. say you fuck with the mayor. Who? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, I fuck with everybody great that look yeah. like me. You think? You you do you think I'm right with saying that Ti and Killer Mike should like pursue like the go- like the government of Atlanta? And I think they shit. should, and they shouldn't give a fuck about they, how people vi- visualize. Because yeah, I think they think about their background. I don't think fuck I think that. in Atlanta. You can actually fuck that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I, I, Shit, one day I'll be the mayor of Clayton County. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. I know. That's I what I'm talking about. I'll be the apartment in Clayton County just to vote for you, nigga. Oh. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't Drink plan, champs. I don't plan on 
stopping nobody hustles. I don't plan on getting on one eight hundred crime stoppers or two eight hundred killer drug dealers or. Wait, what? I'm saying I, when I say I'm doing this, that don't mean I'm selling people out. Mm. That don't mean I'm running in your trap. Right. That mean I'm making a better life for the people so you, you love. So you making an announcement right now that you're running for Clayton County? Was it County? Clayton County Mayor. Clayton County Mayor. Let's do it. Let's, I'm, let's, I'm too young. I'm too young. No, no, no. Fuck no, no. no, no. that. I'm, I'm doing it in my 50s. In your 50s? Yeah. Nah, nigga. 35. Yeah. We need you now. We need you now. No, we need you fly. Listen, we need you fly. Listen, this is a new campaign. Fly it now, baby. We need you now. Fly it now. Listen, listen. 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 We should put people like you in office who understand the fucking the structure of economics of being poor, going from poor, and to being to where we at. I think but, this but is I'm a great say, idea. I'm going to say this, though, right? Uh-huh. If an artist yeah. don't know how to run a major label, right. they should never speak politics. I mean, like Kanye. Watch, watch this. We, we've learned that with Kanye. I should, me, I should never have the respect of helping black excellence if I can't stop my neighborhood. That's true. If I can't help my family. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you have helped your family. Yeah, but I could have did a better job if I had more knowledge. No, but that's self-critique. That's self-critique, right? But it's facts. Okay, but from outside looking in... So so my premature mind and my premature judgments mm -hmm. could crush a nation of people. It's right. similar to the crack laws in, the, in, in New York. Mm -hmm. That shit made sense for that year. Mm -hmm. But in a 10-year span, it cr cr crushed right. the black and brown community. Right. It, it, looked right. like, it, it just looked like a holocaust. You know what I'm saying? So that's a premature mind. That's midget mind thinking. I need knowledge, bro. It's like a cop under 30 years old policing you. It's like a 19-year-old cop pulling you over telling you what the fuck to do. How could you see eye to eye with a little 19-year-old boy telling you to put your hands in there? You know what I'm saying? I, like, I'm just saying, Nori, how can a black 19-year-old man tell a white 40-year-old man step out the car? I feel more comfortable with a little white boy telling me something. You know what I'm saying? So I think people that pull these people should be the same ethnicity and have nah, age. I agree with you. Because with, with age, agree. got wisdom, got knowledge, got understanding. It got it got a different kind of... In my like in my 30s, I'm a different nigga. Like, mm. I'm so cool now. It's the point I can see the problem That's before That's why it's time to run for mayor. Yeah. That's time to run. Fuck it. We going to do it. We going to throw the rumor out I got, there. I got, I got conquer music, man. Come with more music? Oh, no. Nah, oh, yeah. But I, I, I'm, I'm talking about... It got to be executive, though. George is the place where this can happen. Yeah. Where Waka Fly is gonna be the motherfucking mayor of a goddamn county. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna get an apartment just there, just for it, because that's all. Like, I'm gonna be honest, rap, we need to take over politics. But think about it. We need to take over the politics in our think neighborhood. About it. Look, Jay Z helped put Borak in, in office. When Jay Z made that actual call, then you see these officers actually get arrested. After Jay made the call, yeah, they got bail. But Jay Z over. need like one thing. I, I want. I'm trying to gas him. Like I'm trying to gas him right? to go to press. Like, I got all due respect to Jay Z, okay. right? But Jay Z from an era where knowledge wasn't as as accessible as it is in our era. Right. So Jay Z most important tools around him is people like me of, in my age, mm -hmm. have an open mind, have a real understanding of telling him because he's in power right. to talk, and when he talk, people really follow and listen. Yeah. So he is as good as his advisors. Right. You know what I'm saying? He, he said stop throwing uh, throwbacks uh, and throwbacks was gone. But understand the message, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we got to understand it's not about us, it's about the advisors we put around us. Mm -hmm. The number 13, powerful. Jesus, 12 disciples, 13. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like M our well. community need to realize Master. that we need an advisory board. Mm -hmm. We need people that we need to, to help us with our decisions mm -hmm. that we make. Because mm -hmm. artists make dumbass decisions. Yes, we do. It's just dumb as fuck. Like, like I'm going to Cheeseburger Baby after. This. I'm saying niggas it be, doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. bad decision. Nah, no, it's a, it's a good decision for you because that's the quality of love and they make you happy. But what you should do after that <laughs> motherfucker is detox yeah. and get that shit out your system, flush it out. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, bro, some shit is funny and cool, yo, but a Waka lot of shit is, is serious. Is very fucking smart. Like this is yo, like, like I ain't gonna lie. People are gonna be looking at this interview like this nigga is like a professor. Like Hell no, nah. hey, Nora, I swear. No, nah, let's make some noise. I'm just being honest. You, you elaborate with your answers. Like, you, you, you're, you're, you're. No, I just don't like, I don't fuck with titles, no. I swear yeah. to God to you. But, but you I'm know what? Titles is, is a ceiling, my nigga. You, I think you have your own podcast. Are you into this? Because this oh, is like the next thing. His own podcast. I think you need to have your own podcast. I'm just, I'm just being honest yep. with you, bro. You, you control, you're, you're, you're a great speaker, you're a great uh, engager. I'm just telling the truth. 
No, it's that, easy. That, that, that's I'm it. telling you, I, I that's try it. to flex this shit. Do your Man, I got interviews like, right now, bro. I, I can point them out where I know I was capping. Uh, right? Because <laughs> I'm like, shit, that shit probably sound cool. I look at it, I'm like, nigga, I look stupid as a motherfucker. Nah, like, that's the only to you. When I you, swear. Yo, you got a gift. Like, the way you talk, the way you, just in case if you ever think about podcasting, just let us know because we'll, we'll come and have I heard it. I heard it. I actually, we actually got an online radio station. Oh, okay, okay. And, okay. and we, we billboard it. Okay, okay. We like only, one of the only stations grandfather in is called B100. Mm. It's, it's, it's global. Mm. So I'm about to push that. Hey, no, I ain't gonna lie, but right. I, it's like writing a book right now. It's stupid. Right. My, I ain't done. Like, I really want to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I know it, like, I just want to tell the truth. So what's the next dog. thing? You, you trying to get into movies? I'm fucking with it, but I just signed what I call my Jay-Z deal. Damn, what the fuck is that? Shit, my Jay-Z deal. <laughs> I always looked up to Jay-Z for the business moves he made yes. and the sacrifices he made with the choices he had to do and sacrifice relationships with friends. You know what I'm saying? I, I idolize Jay-Z and Damon Dash's relationship. I can see the problem in their relationship. I can understand why he left because I could go through my problems and understand why I left. You know what I'm saying? So, Are you like Gucci? Yeah. Okay. So it, it, it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that we don't fuck with each other. It's just that... So can we talk about that? Why you felt like it was your time to like go away from? from I hit the ceiling. Hit the ceiling, you said? Yeah. Okay. He comfortable. I'm not. Wow. He comfortable with being who he is. I can't. I just I could come like this, champ being sweater, Nikes, you know, like your like my artist chain. Like I don't I know I don't have to put a twenty million dollar ring on for you to believe me. You know what I'm saying? I know I ain't gotta have niggas around me beefing. I'm not saying he doing it. Right. But my boy don't got the comprehension for it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the nigga that sit in a room full of 40 people and run a company because I know how to do it. Mm. I know the certain business deals I got to make with companies to do it because I get, I like that. I, I want to put my tour together. I don't want nobody to give me $2 million to go on tour. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I want to go to a hedge fund, a family office, the PE world, and raise me $20 million, $10 million to put a tour together. To put my catering service together, to put my merch together, to put my trucks together, to get my stage together. Right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what the fuck to do, bro, bro. So, it ain't about me making a nigga believe me. It's who understand what I'm talking about. All right, let's go. That's how I feel. And when I talk to him, my boy ain't on it. And it ain't that he, I'm bigger than him, I'm better than him because he winning. He like, he basically in a nutshell without telling me, like, nigga, I'm comfortable doing what I'm doing. But I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, I don't know, bro, bro. I just, I don't, I don't know, bro. That just ain't me. And, and it seems like y'all both in love. What? That's my nigga. Right. Like no, it no, ain't... no, no, no. I mean both in love with your ladies. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, is that is that something that, 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 that... Nah, I don't know nothing about him and his, but I know about mine. So right. My shit real. His right. shit real, because it changed his life, as we see. But that ain't the reason. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... Like, I, I could have... I could have literally made the relationship way better. I could have not tweeted the nigga back when he said Walker disloyal when I know he was the disloyal nigga. I couldn't tell a nigga to suck my dick. You know what I'm saying? I, I was on tour for four months. I wasn't gonna see him till like five months. And I got back, you in jail. So how we beefing? He in jail, he still made 30,000 a month by me. Cause I was, uh, what I was doing, I was putting ads and shit on his Facebook. That's facts. I don't know if he know or don't know. Yeah, I got I got a company. We we do ads and do like all kind of shit. With pay. I can do it for your podcast, show you how to generate revenue, blah blah blah, whatever, whatever. But you know what I'm saying? So I don't understand. You, you feel what I'm trying to say? Like I'm just not ghetto fabulous, bro. I'm over that shit. Like I'm the kind of nigga that wanna wanna goddamn cabin house here. You know what I'm saying? Cabin house? Yeah, hey, y'all got them. Cabin fever? Yeah, I fought with the cabins heavy. You know what I'm saying? I want me a mountain, a farm. Lakes, mm. not ocean. I want, I want me a Fortune 500 company. You know what I'm saying? Like, I respect that. I fought with it. Like, and I'm, re I'm, I'm actually ready to not drink liquor and smoke blunts and mm. not fuck with niggas that want to kill people all day to raw. Yeah. Just so I can have that shit. Real so shit. I ain't got to not fuck with you, but I'm going to fuck with your sons and your nephews because I love you. Yeah. It ain't about me and you no more, brother. Love yeah. real, so I'm going to fuck with the niggas that want to understand it. Yeah, like, I'm not sure. focusing on people that don't want to do it, bro. It's a lot of people already doing it. I need to fuck with the niggas that want to learn and understand and that know it take more than two days, two weeks, two years to be yeah. successful. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to fuck with. Everybody want that overnight success. That oh. overnight success. It's 15. That is that 15 minutes. That 15 minutes of fame. Oh, I got another shot left in me. Over, overnight, overnight success 
create overnight problems, and everybody ain't ready for a problem that knock on your doorstep because you wasn't prepared for it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I like shit that take time. Mm. I always was a nigga that took time because rap deals were so fast, Nor. You ever seen a nigga come with you with a check? Like, we got to sign this deal by next week. If we don't, he going to go to another artist. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, my man, I have to read this. I have to see what this put me in no, from a but tax you, But you said you was a hustler, right? So did you always look at it like, fuck it. I don't even care about the contract. Let me just sign it just so I can hustle. I did or? that my first time with Gooch. Okay. My mother told me don't sign that contract. So your mother read the contract? I never signed to my mother. I signed to Gucci. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I'm not saying... At first, I used to be mad at him. Like, man, this nigga signed me to a fucked up deal. Right. But he didn't even know. Uh, I signed for $50,000. I had a million dollars in my pocket already off wow. doing shows. I signed for fifty thousand. I thought I could That's got the them worst make it. bottle popper ever, bro. You know, you know, you know. It doesn't have to make noise. You got, you could be elegant with your bottle popping. He got, he got to let the club know, man. This nigga got to like, yeah, yeah. Pop bottles, so. You, you want niggas to think niggas is shooting in the shit? <laughs> Come on, my dude. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Now I just, you know, like, like they know it with me, man. I just don't want a nigga like. Man, I don't want you to take it for what you see, my boy, because I could be out here flunting, flunting, flodging, flexing, stunting. But I know for a fact, man, I, I could die. I could die with no arms and legs and no teeth if I'm lying. My boy, I know these niggas can't fuck with me when it comes to the money. It's just because y'all business decisions. Y'all niggas got fresh money. I got cycling money. Meaning my money ain't going to never change. But I know how to make it double if I do different business decisions. Y'all don't know how to make it double. Can't nobody bring me a deal. I not make the deals come to me. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Right. I don't got a. I don't got a manager. Right. I got an EA, an executive assistant, and an assistant. Assistants. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I got advisors now. I got tax strategists. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. It's different now. So it's tax like, strategists. Oh yeah. Well, rappers. We don't need accountants. We need people with EAs. People that can tell us from a tax perspective. Because mm. accounting is you I basically being lazy. An Hey, what the fuck you need an accountant for, man? Get get you a get you an EA. EA. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Learn it. You, you gotta get somebody to know taxes in every state of America because you move around in every state. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you need to be knowledgeable of what's going on. Cause these niggas, you paying niggas twenty five to five thousand just to click a button to pay your bills every month. Which you could do it yourself, but you're not taking That's the time out to read to understand it. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So it's I don't know, bro. I just Nigga, I take hits. Nah, My nigga, stop saying you don't know. Nah, he, huh? he ain't schooling. You know, he ain't schooling. You know why I say I don't know? Because the nigga listening to me don't know. So I wanted to feel. Right. I wanted to feel like he could do it too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So people, it's hard to take advice from a nigga that's successful. Because you go be like, like you just saying that because you're rich. It's actually it is easier. that, but it is that. You, it's it is, but look, look, it is that. My God, I was the nigga, bro. It's nothing nobody could tell me. I was the nigga looking at niggas with paper like I rob y'all niggas. Fuck y'all, y'all pussy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing, this like, I was him. It's nothing you could tell me. I hung with Gucci and he around rap niggas. I'm calling niggas like, yo, these niggas is right here. It is a rumor that Gucci signed an artist, gave him 10 grand, the artist fell asleep, and then Gucci took the 10 grand back. Is that the truth? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the 10 grand was that accessible? Oh, you don't gotta answer it if you don't want to. Like, I don't know. All right. I, I, like, let me tell you something, bro. And he had never played with me like that. So it's not like, once again, it's not because I'm gangster, because we got to understand it. Like, what he did to other niggas, he did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's them niggas. Like, you're not taking $10,000 from me. And I'm not signing to a nigga that can't tell me how to be successful. That's why I tell artists, like, you can idolize everybody. Like, even niggas with me. I get them advice and say, look, bro, don't, don't even trust me telling you this. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, investigate that shit, bro, boy. Because I want Wait, you to so know. so you give a nigga advice, you tell him, don't even trust me? You know why I tell yeah. him that? Because it makes him go find out what I'm saying is yeah, true. It's true. Yeah, that makes him awesome. respect me for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I want you to learn. I don't want no nigga around me that don't want to learn. Because, nigga, I want you to take this shit and know it. You know what I'm saying? But you got to think about it. Everyone that kind of came through Gucci is successful. That By default. It looked like that. Mm. But what Gucci do for me as an artist, me being who I am today... What Goose do? All the money he made was what? A chain? He never sat in the studio with me. He never booked a session with me. He never put me on toy. He never did nothing. But that's, 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 that's in a way, it's good because I, I you gotta, made yourself. I got to say that. Yeah, you made You know yourself. what I'm saying? But it looked like that. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? He, he just around. Well, it looked like, okay. But that's me. Right. Now, after us, we had fame. So what niggas did was just, Goose just put people on his stage. He's a great person that put you on his stage and let you goddamn rock out. Now, him directing you and being who you are, from my understanding, back in the day, ah, hell no. Nah. Migos could tell you, Future, uh, Scooter could tell you, Thug could tell you, I told these niggas. Because they kind of all went through Gucci, right? Thug, Migos. Yeah. Oh, uh, but niggas thought they were signing to us, not Gucci. But I ain't trying to take credit for that. I'm just gotta say that. Like hey, man, hey, hey, bro, me and Goose was business partners. You, we, like, me and Goose fell out. With, it's just, I, know, I don't even want to say it. I ain't even gonna put him out there like that. But we fell out on some more personal shit, like, like, nah, bro, I ain't, I can't rock with niggas like that. Those ain't my friends, type shit. These are artists. We have to draw the line. Everybody ain't your young nigga. You know, you my artist. And to be my artist, let me show you how to get your life together. Set your accounts up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want that talk with me and Goose. We couldn't, I couldn't get that. I couldn't build with him how we talking, like, and not saying that he ain't on that level. It's just he wasn't at it at that time. And I wasn't ready to hear nothing else. I, I just couldn't understand why I'm doing shows and going to the strip club for a promotion. I can't understand why I got to go to a club and pay a girl $2,500 to fuck her. I seen all rich people. What kind of pussy she has? I just threw a live number. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sunshine? Just, was it sunshine? No, no, no. Throw it in the air, carry the sunshine. No, no, no. I'm just telling you what I seen right. okay. beyond Gooch. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, as Gucci seen it, I seen it. He, what he seen for the first time was me seeing for the first time. Wow. So it wasn't like I was getting taught. My mother was teaching us. Right. It was a difference. You know what I'm saying? Was OG. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, I just didn't like how the business rocked up. Mm. I know a lot of shit kept. I know nobody stole no money. Mm. I know it was the opposite of the of the equation. I know the other side owed money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I know niggas hired the op in our company. Mm. My mama in Gooch. And he left with an op. I know that. Like a real I'll op. Up, right? I don't know. I can't tell no name. If you know what you know, you know. So it's like, when I seen that, I'm like, damn, niggas will do anything to be rich. You know what I'm saying? Nigga cut, nigga cut my mama throat and talk to me like it regular, like I won't shoot him in the head. But when I seen that, I'm just like, shit, let me not fuck with him, because we feel like we adopted him. My whole family know the nigga. His picture on my grandmama wall, she don't know nothing going on. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to like slimy business, it's just, just say you didn't know, you ain't taking it serious, you fucked up. I mean, we all make mistakes. At this. Yeah, but don't bury mistakes with lies. You know what I'm saying? So that ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? I would like to show my bank account at a table and talk. So you know it ain't hating. Mm. Fuck all that what it look like. Nigga, I'm gonna show you my account. Show me yours. I'm gonna show you my trust account and my insurance account as well. And my investment account. Then we could talk. My boy, it ain't it ain't about money, my boy. Let's just talk facts. I can't get that. I don't know why I can't sit with rappers and put five hundred thousand into a, uh, an investment fund with ten other rappers. And we got $5 million and we go invest. If oh. I can't talk to niggas like that, then why the fuck we friends, bro? What we got to talk about? Who got new Lambo trucks? Mm. I can take that 300000 start an insurance policy and, and take 90% of that money out and it still add dividends at the end of the year. I make money off it. So what the fuck why I buy the truck for? Shit. You know what I'm saying? Why I spend 300 and something thousand on the truck and I can raise my, my credit score up and get it all off credit and just pay a high premium every month because I'm only driving it three, four times a month. But shit, nigga don't want to talk like that. You know what I'm saying? We just want to brag and say we could spend. I was that guy. But bro, I'm telling you, that shit ain't boo, bro. When you get 34 and 35 with a 15-year-old daughter and a wife, man, Frenchie's licking you in the face, man, you like, nigga, I need to, I want to do this shit forever. <laughs> Fuck that, like. I go outside and I got man. one more shot left here. Come on. I'm, I'm, not, in the, dogs, I'm not in the gated community. Hey, Nori, I'm not in the gated community. No, I just got cameras that can recognize license plates and face. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be comfortable. I'm a community type of person. I can't do it. I can't do homeowner association. I can't, I can't no nigga tell me after I spent a million plus for a house to cut my grass. Yeah, Come on, no, man. I go listen. piss in your mailbox. Nigga, don't play with me. I'll tell you something. Hell, I man. had an eight bedroom. My mom's living with me. I ain't see her in a week. Like, I had the biggest I love house. living with my mom, bro. I can't even lie. 
I love little mama Brian too. Love I love my mom. I'm trying to gas up right now. Thank you for saying that. This is my segue of telling my mom. I want my mom to come move to Florida. Word, my nigga. That yeah, shit I want her to move with me out here. So I'm thank sorry, you. I'm sorry, my mom's yeah, boy, I'm bro. I'm a mama boy it. too, goddamn. Look, yeah, yeah. I, I had no idea. I was so sorry. Miss Elada. Can you hear me, Miss Elada? What is that, bro? Lemonade. You didn't trust me earlier. What is that? What lemonade? Drink a lemonade. Drink a lemonade, bro. I don't trust. I ain't gonna lie, no man. I, <laughs> hey, no, you know, you know what fucked up, and I can admit this. Yes. I did more for my friends than I did actually for my real brothers and friends wow. for keeping it gangster. You okay? okay. Damn, nigga, you I, all right? I never heard that sound before. My nigga, sound like a Pokemon. <laughs> you sound like a frog. He was a frog just came up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we, yeah, we just got to be like, man, shout out, I like. All that big dog talk, man, because a nigga been here longer than me, right. rapper-wise. Man, y'all niggas can't fuck with me. Right. Actually, I could be arrogant in that quote. I know y'all can't, because I watch y'all business decisions, what y'all doing, what y'all brag about. Nigga, you ain't even touch level one with the money you happy about. Mm. I, when I see shit like that, it's just, and I'm only saying this for a nigga to goddamn wake up. Mm. Like, bro, it's some paper out here, bro. Mm. It's enough for you to never, ever give a fuck about who they like me personally, if I make a hundred bands a month, that's only two forty a year. In four years, I make a million. So why the fuck I'm chasing a million this year? Chase comfortability. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm comfortable, I don't care what my artists making. Shit, they got a hundred rack. They shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got a jet all year round. I got car service now all year round. This shit today. You know what I'm saying? So I'm cool. I got a whole salary of a million dollars. See, you got to get to that level as an older nigga. And we, when I looked in the mirror and I knew I wasn't that person, I couldn't be called a big dog no more. I felt like a small fry. I'm just being real. And it's just me. It's just that person. You got to check yourself. You sit have a conversation with niggas that's 21 doing the same shit you doing. You like, what the fuck? Yeah. Nigga, you should, when you 21 and you up, you should come to me so I can show you how to elevate it. It's like, yo, 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 yo nigga got a burger spot. You shouldn't say, yo, let's open another one. No, nigga, you should be like, yo, let me help you franchise that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. instead of you buying a building trying to figure out a franchise, hey, buy my model. I sell it to you for $1,500 million, whatever it costs. And now you'll have the whole scope of this business. I just want 15% of what you're doing. That's franchising, my man. Yeah. How many people in our hood need franchises? I want to be that guy. God damn it. Yo. I know you're going to catch your flight. I can keep going with you. Listen, by the way, I can keep going all day with you. But they texted me. Your people were saying you got your flight. Yeah. Yo, listen, Waka, let me just tell you something. Thank Our you. show is about bigging people up now in their face, Waka. You understand? And I don't want to, uh, like I said, I don't want to, like, you are a legend. Your family, you born a legend, bro. Like, you literally one of those guys that's born a legend. Like, you... Family and, legacy. And this crazy shit is, with your family, with me knowing, and I can't say everything, but me knowing, like, you couldn't have been a sucker. Like, you had to be a real nigga. Like, your destiny was to be a real dude. Like, I, I'm being honest. For people that know the history, and I'm honored, I was thinking for this, there's not a lot of interviews that I want to do. I do it because of other things. This was one I wanted to do. Because I fucks with you as a real person. I'm about to say real nigga, but I think we should stop saying nigga. I think the word nigga should be stopped in our whole vocabulary. No, I want to stop it. You know what, though, bro? I, I told myself, you know what, I want to stop it, but it's going to take some time, but we need to, but we we need to try. We need to accept Ebonics. You know why? It's our strength. That's, it's true, that's but our now. That's our that's our language. It's true, but it hurts me when I hear. Now nah, we gotta stop saying, saying nigga, man. Nigga, ain't yeah, we gotta stop saying. Cause it's too bro. cliche. You mad at yeah, a white yeah, man no. calling you a nigga, but yeah, you, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We gotta we gotta stop saying this. So hopefully we started from here. We had rock and flock on motherfucking drink chance. So hopefully we started from here. And girl, thank you so much, my brother. Listen, man, you really, you really should, uh, you really are appreciated over here. Anytime you ever want to break any news, we want you to know that this is your family, this is your house. Anytime you want to come and talk some shit, because you know we hood niggas, so we're going to do it the right way, and I want to say thank you to your face, my brother, and you continue to do what the fuck you got to do because you making us proud. Goddamn, make some more fucking work.